<laughs> if she ain't got uh, then I'ma fuck that bitch. Damn, no she got hey. Then I'ma fuck damn. that bitch. Oh. Hey. Give me extra Give me extra fucking dumb, you fucking sloppy ass bitch. <laughs> Slop on this dick, bitch. Dumb. I want you to drool on this egg fucking dick, bitch. With that. Damn. I'm going to put this fucking chrome to your dome. Damn. And blow your fucking brain. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah. I want to make this a point. Yeah. This is a comedy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Everything we say is real. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that you like to say shit for the bit. Uh, uh, and for if you're going to fucking drool, bitch, yeah. make sure you fucking drool on my dick, bitch. Because you are fucking. You are, You got. For the bit. <laughs> for the bit. For the bit. I just chucked this for loco. Oh. Uh -huh. And I'm feeling loco. Hey. Uh -huh. I got a bit of moco. Hey. And it's not from lines. No. Damn. Uh. Busting rhymes. Busting rhymes. Hey. Busting rhymes. Busting uh. I got a bitch in the back of my car. Uh. Psych. She's in my trunk. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> murder, murder, yeah. murder. <laughs> Shoot her in the head, shoot hey. her in the head. Yeah, oh, I shot her in the head. Uh, plot twist. She giving me head, uh. Oh. Plot twist. Uh, that bitch is dead, uh. Oh. Necrophiliac, necro, necro, necrophiliac. Uh. What else? What else? Uh, what else? Uh, what else? And I'm chilling with the shoddy bay in the motherfucking club. Oh. Uh. Uh. Shoddy bay. On the dub, uh. Uh. In this point of view. Huh. Shoddy bay, shoddy bay. In this point of view. In hit us up, hit us up. In this, in this up. point of view. In this point of view. Uh, the two of us. Yeah, we hotness. Uh, oh, oh my God. Yeah, we richness. Gucci, uh. Gucci. Yeah, we cuteness. Uh, uh Gucci, Gucci. And we, fitness. and we sexiness. Uh, uh Gucci, Gucci. Shotty Bay, Shotty Bay. That bitch, my bae. Gucci, Gucci. Uh. And that bitch is kind of Fucci. Hey, hey, cause I was gonna take a shot, take a Ooh, shot. Shotty Bay, Shotty oh Bay, and it's my motherfucking oh my birthday. birthday. This is for oh all my bitches oh my that wipe from oh back to front. Oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god. And Tito got a rhyme for you. Tito yeah. got a rhyme for and you. And the beat is gone. Hey, hit us up, Shotty Bay. Acapella. Cause it's Johnny's birthday. And I got a lot to say. And we got a lot to say. Damn. And I got nothing else to say. No. I be fucking hella. Oh, chill out, bitch. And we love the fuckers with Hooch, boy, Lalo. It's your boy, NFI, and ITT. I mean, we're the hands on my fucking Z, baby. And it's your boy's birthday. Who is it, baby? Johnny, what's up? Johnny's birthday, and also. And? Gazelle's birthday, and also. It's Gazelle, and who else? And Beto's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, Beto. Let's yeah. go. Oh, it's just the boys only. Boys only. Sorry for. And? Lalo? <laughs> Sorry for trying. I do the intro, lad. And I fucking hella bitches with. <laughs> Though. He gets, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. John, okay. John, okay. John, uh, if Johnny seems more uh, dumber than usual, he uh, down to Ford Loco. That yeah. man's locked. Yeah. 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 Right before we started, yeah, tell the hey, story. I haven't had a drink in my life, actually. I'll drink it right now. Hey, all, all y'all saw I done that shit. Like, pretty well, right? I yeah. like what a minute? In a minute, you done it. Minute, done it yeah. How old are you now, Johnny? Me? Fuck, I'm 28. 28 years old. You're gonna die soon. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> wild, bro. Yeah. How old are you, Gaza? 27. Yeah, you're not gonna die yet. Wait, no way. Am I 28 too? You're 27. You're 27. Oh, then, bro. You're 96. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a year older than you. It's just yeah, a baby. Yeah, yeah. Just how do you feel at, at 28 years old? How do you feel? Uh, uh, like you should grow up? I got up? back problems. I need to go to chiropractor. I That's not age problems. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just need to fake some shit. I don't know. Um, I think it's cool as fuck. Uh, I'm not in the 27 club, motherfucker. I didn't make it in the 27 club. I'm good. Wait, what is that? What is the, what's the 27 club? Who wants to die so bad? The uh, 27 club is a bunch of celebrities that kill themselves at 27. He's a celebrity. celebrity. <laughs> yeah. Johnny's a celebrity. Yeah, he's a celebrity, bro. D-list. <laughs> D. <-list. laughs> I don't know about D. Bro. I like, what is a Bethel's in D-list. Yeah. At least his vlogs are up. Yeah, you're at least a B celebrity. No, he's... <laughs> no. He hired me? He's like, crazy. crazy. How you feeling though, bro? Good. I'm um, chill. Like uh, the four locals didn't hit me like I thought it would. No, they did. No, they did. Yeah, You just don't so? realize it. Uh, we uh, know so. Uh, maybe. It, Johnny, you're going to watch this and you're going to be like, I don't remember that. You know how I, I don't know. hit you? Because you drink, you're drinking and drinking. You just open nah, another one. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, because I feel like we're just chilling there. Um, dumbass. I decided, <laughs> I decided to have a couple of He just starts opening all three of them next to us. In celebration of you guys. What's up? Can I tell you all something? No. Real quick. I love it. I'm playing. <laughs> no, but I mean, I do. I love you guys, but obviously, like I, you guys are like I've known you guys forever, dog. Yeah, yeah. known you guys forever. I've right. known him since th since third grade, 
And believe it or not, I actually knew you before I knew Johnny. That's wild as fuck. Mm. I, it was your, like your first year you had transferred from like Pomona or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, second grade, bro. That's wild as fuck. And I, I, I want to thank you guys for being on this fucking earth and being my friends, dog. Appreciate you, baby. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. well, some reasons, the first one. So. Yeah, lo- mate, just Lalo, Lalo is actually my first friend, actually. He was actually in first grade. And the motherfucker walked you knew up Lalo to me. You Lalo's first? Yes, but we weren't even in the same class. Because yeah, Lalo was yeah. one of those kids where he's going to walk up to you and learn your name. Just because <laughs> he was like that. I'm this motherfucker him. was networking. He was like, oh, hey, yo, I got a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this first grade? Hey, yeah, yeah. 10 years from now, hit me up. Networking, I was networking. So what yeah. was your class? So, so who were you in? What uh, teacher? Remember? For what? First grade. First grade, I was in Miss Gilman's class. Did I did I have all three of you? I literally Ms. have the same teacher as him. Oh, you did? Oh shit. Gilman. Did we? We had the split. She had the split. No, class. no, no. You had Miss Gill. Oh, I had Gill. I had sec- Gilman. That was second grade. And there was Gilman. I, I don't know. No, he had her for first because he had a split. This one with the book? I, I had her split. You ran it no. with the B2B? Look, okay, cool. Okay, look. <laughs> Miss Gilman was my first grade teacher, and that's when I met this fool, right? Yeah. And then we had this bitch. That she wore a hat with a dress and <laughs> shoes. Shout out Ms. Gill, yes. Shout out Ms. Gill. Ms. Gill. And that's the teacher that we had. Wait, Lala, we had, Lala wasn't in that class then. Oh, no, 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 I had Ms. We, we had, had Ms. Rudy Preston. and we had, we had Rudy to Booty. <laughs> he tried to fight me for calling him that. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudy to Booty. Did we have Colombiano in there? In Ms. No, Gill? no. Oh. We had Josh, um, or Chucky. You know him as Chucky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that got slept by Matt. Yes. <laughs> and we had some black food named Tyrone in our class. Oh, I remember that food. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you remember the class then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck, bro. Wait, Lalo, you, cool. who did you have in your class? You had a Colombian? I had, pre- I had for second grade? Yeah. I had Miss Preston. I don't know who. The fuck yeah, she was that fat bitch, huh? She's a lovely ass teacher, yes. Or was it Miss Edwards? She was Not a that. lovely teacher. You had Miss Edwards, too. I had Miss huh? Edwards, too. Third grade, right? I went back to back. See, uh, I know everybody's teachers. With the lovely that. teachers. Yeah. I, I, I know you guys had. You know what's funny? I remember being. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. But I remember we were in a fucking assembly. Yeah. And uh, me and Gazelle, it was like second grade, bro. And this was looking at me. It's like, bro, this fucking teacher's name is Mr. Buttoncourt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember and, that. And he's like, bro, I don't. You weren't even there. He, he was like, I don't ever want to have that fool as a teacher. No, you know what? And then the next did. year, <laughs> and the next year, Mr. Buttoncourt. <laughs> it did with Mr. Buttoncourt. Real quick yeah. co- context. So his real name was Mr. Buttoncourt, but you know when you're a kid, you're like, Ooh, yeah, Mr. You make, Buttoncourt. You make dumbass names. No, and by the way, I remember I said that shit to Dreams. I do remember that. I was like, bro, Mr. Buttoncourt. And then Dreams goes, bro, save it for the podcast. And I was like, <laughs> ten net, years now, twelve no, no, years from now, save it for Patreon. They working went crazy back yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. And then you had him as that was the worst fucking example of karma that I've ever seen. Hey, yeah. hey but like that teacher was cool though. That fool was super like relaxed, dude. Like that fool had to be high or something. Then he you think wanna he wanna hit you? He, yeah. No, that, no was, that was Mr. Jordan. That was uh, Freedom, though, no? Oh, Jordan? Jordan. That was Jordan. That motherfucker had a temper. He said he was a Buddhist. Johnny was a terrible student. He was like Buddhist. No, this I one. was Let's be real. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember like those fucking assemblies though in school? Like yeah. where they fucking just do anything and they just make you sell stuff, or they make you oh, do yeah. It. yeah. Why am I selling chocolates as a yeah. fucking nine year old? Or like the fucking yo yo shit and they made everybody like, oh, I'm gonna get a yo yo dog. Yeah, because I want to join pre America as nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like, if they recruited we like that? We were at the bottom of that fucking food chain, bro. Yeah, we yeah. The only yeah. Thing make money. It's yeah. a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Wait, what, was, what was that shit though? Do you guys know the name of that shit? Like that catalog that we were. F- I don't remember fuck. the name, but I remember they were selling like cheesecakes, cheesecakes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cheesecakes and candles so, and all this bullshit. And if, you, and if you racked up like a. Was it like a certain amount of points? Yes. You, you would get like a gift Mo- or something. Money. And it was whack as fuck until you got to like the Game Works limousine. <laughs> the limousine. Bro, how did they finesse us to do Dude, that shit? Because uh, we cause wanted to go to Game Works. Because they funded the school. It was so funny because during those assemblies, I would always imagine myself. Winning the biggest prize, <laughs> but being Hispanic, yeah, I wouldn't say <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, do it. You're doing something for the school, but you're not. My mom would not let me sell, bro. My mom would be like, "No, like you're making money for them. No, like we're not gonna do that. Like you tell them we're not gonna participate in that." Your mom yeah. was better than my mom. My mom was actually making me sell that shit. Yeah, like, like if I was gonna get an award and shit. My mom was like, "Fuck that. You are gonna sell these drugs, bro." <laughs> <laughs> we got a fucking you already won. Hey, we, we in the cup. We got two pounds of fucking coke you need to sell, bro. <laughs> bro I'm okay, after. but what if I finish the coke, hit, can yeah, I? Yeah, hit the block. Cakes. Maybe we could do a strawberry. Imagine and, though you're you're fucking you're fucking silly to deal with like an eight ball, but you're also like, hey, for you, I'm trying yeah. to get a cheesecake. <laughs> You're gonna get crazy. You bro. Yoga? Yeah, I know you're not hungry, but if you want to buy, it, <laughs> hey, munchies, munchies, munchies. Okay, so what were the items on that catalog? You won th- shit though, didn't you? If you sold shit, you it was, yes, yes. What'd yes. you win? I don't remember. You would bro. win like a, okay. Yeah, so I remember. 
I because admit I, for not remembering. How'd you not remember? Shit I, like that. I remember. I, of it. I don't remember. What I did last week, <laughs> You're a bro. Bitch. You have the worst memory, though. Do, do. You, do. you do. Okay, wait, but, but what, that's to your advantage. What's though? my birthday? What were, what was the uh, what were we selling on the catalog? I don't okay, remember. so we remember. I remember we were selling cheesecakes. We were selling like candles, uh-huh. and we were selling like Christmas decorations and pumpkin rolls. Like cookies, I remember too. that. Cookie, yeah. c- cookies, cookie dough. Yeah, and yeah. they were oh, selling yeah. like like it was like a it a one a, a one stop shop and shit for like well, it was a more for like housewife. It was shit, expensive. You know? okay. Yeah, and it was it was expensive. It was like saying Princess House type of shit, you know. But um, shout out Princess House. They sponsored the puck. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I remember like the first prize being like, um, you get like a ball. But the ball, like it was like a, it didn't even go in the right direction. Like that was, was supposed like the to, ball. that was supposed to be like the appeal of it. Like the ball didn't even go in the right direction. You know, like it was just mm. you throw it this way and it goes that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah, was supposed yeah. to be exciting for us for some reason. Then after that, you would get like a, a plush doll or some shit like that. A sticky hand. Stuff. Yeah, or you get some bullshit like that, right? And then you finally moved up. I remember after that, it was like crazy shit, bro. It was like. Yeah, you get to go to GameWorks and you get to be in a limousine, you know? Oh. Back when GameWorks Party, they, they also had a block party, like a little party. There was that too. There was a party, but I think that was a tier after. Yeah. And then I think there was like a one where you can like get like a go-kart or some bullshit like that. Oh, shit. Nobody you hit know? that shit. But nobody, they because they knew you're not going to hit this shit, bro. No kids. Like if you sell, 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 if you do sales for this, you're probably going to just get a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to play that as Yeah. Home. Hey, you know what? You're going to get three sick days. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna use them to come over yeah, with yeah. us. All right, PTO. Yeah, but that's crazy. I can't believe they got away with they that. They pimped shit. us out, yeah. bro. And, and they do it to this day. They, and they like we still do it. Yeah, I didn't know. The that. chocolate shit. Yeah, they, do it. they did it. Did they ever make your sisters do it? Uh, no, they told them to do it, but like they didn't yeah. make them. Oh, okay. No, well, obviously they never, they never made us, but they sold it to us. Like we had to do it because they were promoted doing it, bro. It. Hard. Yeah, I remember like the the sales were always to like family and like neighbors and shit. But like, yeah. How, you so to convince I got my lesson about one of those foods. Oh, crazy. <laughs> so how the fuck does the school get money for like do they cut up a check or probably? What the fuck? Because like, that's that's the only thing that makes sense. It wasn't it wasn't I just said, hey, sales, you want to buy a cheesecake and then he grabbed the wrong cheesecake and grabbed my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he, could, he, grabbed, he grabbed Davis cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> it's dumb because hey, like Jonathan, Jonathan Murillo uh sold us I sold about two thousand dollars worth. You guys bought one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. He gets raped. But, but he got molested. <laughs> Look, so to cover the cost of that, we're gonna sell you an extra fifty dollars. <laughs> it's fucked up because it you wasn't even like therapy. it wasn't like, hey, here, go sell this. It was a whole. Remember, it was a whole fucking presentation. Yeah, it was a whole fucking like, what the fuck is it called? Like, oh. they had like an assembly, right? Assembly. Assembly. They, they had an assembly that was Thank promoting you. all this. He they said, were like, what the fuck is it called? Remember, yeah. there was like this fucking one where you like you can go into like what's called the money machine or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, and they blow like oh, dollars into the machine. And I wanted that shit so bad. And you had to go and catch. As money as you can. If you did that, hey, hey let us know. Hey, they, I was, they searched up the poorest fucking yeah. schools ever. Like, Let's go throw money in their face. Yeah, I, I was over here thinking I was gonna buy my parents a house, and, shit. <laughs> and it was like fifty bucks in that bitch. Hey, I well, it was, like, it was a bitch to catch all the money, anyways. Exactly. How, like, how much is an eight year old gonna catch? Like, you're gonna be catching me. I was in my head already planning how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in. We well, get like a minute, open. right? Yes, yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. fake ass motherfuckers. So it was like, <laughs> like the listeners. So it was like this <laughs> like, fucking like, like, like glass enclosure. Yeah, you, and obviously there's like fucking air in there and shit. Yeah, there's like money flying around. You're supposed to catch all the money you can, but like you're fucking. I remember ten, my fucking want, ten year old. I want to try that as an adult. Yeah, see how well. I well, would I do. remember my brother fucking schooling me on it. He's like, "Hey, if you get there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck your shirt in and you're gonna just open up your shirt. You're gonna catch everything. It's true. You are. Yeah, herpes like, and everything. I never. I I made <laughs> one sale and I remember my mama getting so mad over fucking doing shit like you're not gonna make money for the school like that's not okay like you're gonna learn why are you selling fucking cheesecake yeah so she was like you're gonna return the money so i had to fucking like cry and return the money to the lady i was like hey like we're not making sales like i'm not gonna i'm not supposed to be like <laughs> are you serious yeah my mom had it she's like give her her money back put your two week notice <laughs> bro now it's like it was 20 bucks shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up like yeah. it was my only sale but i made it like i told her hey like we're doing it from a school, like support us. And it was a black lady. And she's like, here you go, here you go, sugar. And she gave me money. Right. And and like I was here like, you go, cool. Sugar. Yeah. And she, she was super sweet. And like I was on my Dot Soccer game. I remember that shit. It was traumatizing. Because my mom was like, return the money right now. So we went back to the next game. Why? And I give her the money back. Ooh, your mom was true. The lady should wanted to buy it. To be bro. honest, she's got a point. You want me to soccer out? But but she, it's like I could have been a salesman, I could have been rich. Who knows? Oh yeah. That's true. But it's like <laughs> 
In my head, no, it was, no, that's dude, true, that's a good point. Was, no, what the no, fuck? Agree, let's agree. It's like a good point. Okay, 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 okay. I'll agree for no, yeah, fucking he, argument's sake. He could have been a millionaire right now, Loki. Facts. Yeah. So hey, it's like from the hey, money you machine. Shit. Hey, your mom. They don't even put that much money in there. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> he could have been fifty dollars richer yeah. today. I'm rich, son. <laughs> hey, your mom's giving you shit over like, over that shit. Like she's dude, gonna fall into the like life shit. Like a scoldish mom. Like you're not supposed to be doing that. Like, like it's not okay for them to be making money off you. She's right though. It is true. Yeah, it is true. She's like they're making money off you. But as a kid. Yeah, like it's like you're participating. You're like you want to. She was like, "Want to beat your homies at? and shit." You want like, "Oh, I want to sell more." What was your first experience with like drug dealers? <laughs> <laughs> right about, there, about like, three months I, ago, <laughs> my little cousin came up to me with that shit, and I was like, "Get yeah. the fuck out of here!" With that shit. <laughs> 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 I'll take one eight ball, but that's it. yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, like, so no, 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 but tell me, out, like, because we're talking about sales right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you're in high school and you want to buy like weed, for like, for example, let's be honest, the first purchase was probably weed, right? Most of us, I Not think, crack. right? Or pills. Oh, I crack. used to sell chips at school. Or, well, I mean, obviously, I mean, I I'm talking about drugs yeah. here. But were you intimidated at all when you were like the when you met a drug dealer for the first time and you're like, nah, um, like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take a fucking eighth of fucking <laughs> of platinum blue dream or whatever the fuck they were selling and shit. Black tar heroin. I remember the first time I ever like. I guess I'm really. I knew about weed and shit, but I remember when I first knew somebody that talked about it was James, and he was like, yeah. and you can stuff if you want. Like, I remember he was Not fucking, okay. uh, I, I met up with him, and he was fucking like, I was at Gazelle's, and he came, and he was fucking mad. He was so fucking mad and sad. He's like, fool, I fucking lost it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, the fuck? that was right before our big trip, Gazelle. A trip where? To the San Diego where? Zoo. Sure. Okay, so oh. I remember that he was mad as fuck, and he's like, "Fool!" And then fool started fucking like just mad, like tears, but this mad. Thing, I was crying, dog. He was fucking, I don't want to say he I was, was crying, crying. fucking balling, dog. And he was like, <laughs> "Damn, I lost it." You're like, "What the fuck?" And I thought me because I thought <laughs> I don't want to say it. Like he's mad at his <laughs> balling, mom. though. Like, he's like dumb. Pussy like, ass. <laughs> I mean, like, he got dumped or he got mad by his mom or some shit. He's like, "Fool, I want to go pick up a fucking edible." Yeah, and he was like. I dropped it because he had his fucking. We were in high school. Scooter. We didn't have a fucking car, so he had a scooter. He was like, "Dude, and that I went, shit was pink." And he was like, <laughs> "It was some little princess scooter, dog." But he was like, "Bro," and the fucking suspension on that bitch was like crooked as fuck. <laughs> so like, I was pushing that bitch, and that shit was like sideways. So I was trying to hold it out. And he was like, "Bro, I went so far for it. I want to go pick up by AB Miller and on a scooter yeah. from our house, Maria, far as." Fuck, I'm ready. Yeah. And she's like 20 minutes away on a scooter, bro, or more. And he's like, fuck. He's like, dude, I worked so hard. I woke up early yeah. to go get it. And he came back. He's like, I had shorts on and it fell out of my pocket. Have you, you guys he ever was had an so edible? mad. Would you be down to try any, like, any of that um, shit? I, I'm down to try edibles just because I feel like, dude, I cannot sleep. I should you not. For the past maybe like... <laughs> Maybe like six years. <laughs> I, ah, bro. Hold up. This, for the past, like, he falls oh, asleep every time he does a podcast. For the past like maybe six go. years, I cannot sleep at night, bro. Like, you I, sleep during the podcast, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I'll sleep during the day. I'll take my naps. I love my naps. But like, <laughs> you give me like two hours, one hour, like 30 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah. Like of a nap, I'm good to go for the day. Like I take my little nap, I'm good. Yeah. But at night, I cannot fucking sleep, bro. I want to sleep last night at... Three or four, like three thirty in the morning. I woke up at seven. <laughs> I'm good. I'm wide awake right now. I'm chilling. I don't believe you first. I, 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 was tired, I, I was tired last week. I, I was tired last week. What is that? You know. So if you see the last part, I was tired. <laughs> I like how Johnny just tries to keep going, like power through it. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Professional. <laughs> Swallow's face, bro. What? How does he do it? I was. I was. <laughs> Johnny, you have a talent. Hey, good sh- good shit, you have a you have Love a that talent story. that I've only seen in people that have cancer, <laughs> and, that's just, fall, I have a cancer. and that's just and that's just fall asleep whenever the fuck they want. I can. <laughs> he can fall asleep he anywhere, dog. Put me on fucking spikes. I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll knock out, bro. That's, it's just, it was just ironic. That's, that's the whole joke, right? Like that, it was just ironic. Johnny, I, like, I, was just I like, can't sleep at night, but it's like the whole time we were in Vegas, my fucker was sleeping any chance he got. <sighs> I'm on vacation. We at shot, the snap of a finger, we, too. We shot a podcast last week. My boy was like tired as fuck. I was jet lagged. He was jet lagged, right? Because he he went to Florida for the. Yeah. Hey. I him. had an event too. Who went to who followed him on? You actually well, tell us a little bit about your trip in yeah, Florida, Fort, bro. Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I never heard yeah. it. Don't say Florida. Well, say Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> You went to boot camp, you said. What? <laughs> so I fucking landed in my in, in uh, Florida. 
<laughs> I, I was in Fort Lauderdale. It was cool. And dude, Let's take a shot. I thought it, I'm done. I, it was just smooth as fuck. It was the coolest trip. And tell me why. Like, because I, I had like an app I use. I'm not going to fucking say the name. Say the name. But, uh, no. It was Park Wiz. <laughs> so, let him talk. Let him talk. I no, it's okay. I I was there and I use I didn't use the app because I was like you know fuck it I'm gonna do it, and like the first time when I went to a restaurant I parked they had a parking lot and I parked mm. and like it just opened so I parked and I didn't get charged or anything I was like that's weird yeah I guess they had valet they just didn't like charge me so mm. I was like okay I'm gonna go back later and I went back the next day or like that day. You know, I'm gonna go hit the beach. I'm gonna go record. Okay, cool. So I go hit the beach, yeah. and I pay 25 bucks. They're like, oh, you gotta pay 25. Okay, for the whole day. Okay, I pay. I cross the street. My feet to my right foot touches the sand, bro. Fucking rainstorm. <laughs> Fucking rains. <laughs> And I'm so <laughs> why does it sound like bullets though? <laughs> they shot up You got sprayed. Shh. Why this with a block on you? I don't, I don't do sound. <laughs> it's, a by two. It's, a by, it's a drop by two, by the way. No, dude, I get soaked in fucking rain. It's a rainstorm. Yeah. It's not going away. I'm like <laughs> just tugging it out. <laughs> I literally just I, and I'm there to film. Yeah. And I can't film the fucking my phone's gonna go wet. So I cross back street. I'm, I try to walk. I'm like, enjoy it, enjoy it. No, this is fucking raining. It's ass. I'm gonna go back. I crossed the street back to the guy, and I'm like, "Oh my car!" He's like, "What the? F like I just parked five minutes ago." Twenty five bucks, sir. <laughs> and I just go back to fucking uh to my hotel, yeah. and for like two days, like my mental health was fucking with me. So I was just like, and it was raining, so yeah. I can't even go out. So I did you masturbate a lot in Fort Lauderdale? No, I uh, oh, didn't. Mm, <laughs> no, I, I I was just fucking like, I can't go out to film. Yeah. I try to go to the clubs and a lot of the reviews were like, hey, people are stealing phones. I lost my phone in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not going to lose my phone in Fort Lauderdale. Imagine, that's trip, bro. imagine you lose your phone in Fort Lauderdale that's in Vegas. <laughs> fuck that. So I was like, he's fucking with you. I'm straight. I'm going to chill at home. So I just chilled. Yeah. And I was like, I literally, went, I literally went and got food and just came back and chilled. After that, the rain had calmed down. I went out. I hit like a bar. I fucking got food. It, it was so cool. It's just a chill ass vibe. I, I gotta condemn you, bro, because you actually fucking went by yourself. By myself. It's just, it's just cool. It's I, I've so never done amazing. a trip. I mean, aside from like work related, uh, I've never gone anywhere just by myself. And it's shit. Just, it's yeah. really um. So I'm like, that's kind of cool. Like, it's really empowering because like, as, as much as your trip probably sucked, let's be real, because all the fucking the terrible weather, and but, also like you feel lonely. You feel like you can't have a home. Hey, let's go here. Like to like back you up. Yeah, it's yeah. like you it's, could just you like, have to go. Yeah, right, right, right. Because you and can you're at the hotel. You could be like, I just don't want to go out. And I'll be real. I had moments like I that knew. where I was just like, I'm. A, I'm but low key, Lalo in Vegas was still like that anyways. Yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't going nowhere. I, I, I knew some homies and shit that they were like, oh, like we're gonna go to Miami, fool. And then they're like, all right. So they started. So they went to Miami and shit. And then you look at their stories, and they're literally just sitting in a corner, like <laughs> looking at each other. And, shit. and then like, they like put it uh, on the caption. They're like, life was a movie. Life is like my life. <laughs> But my life was like a basic ass movie. Like yeah. it was cool. It was tight. Three D. Like you don't have a homie saying, "Hey, uh -huh. let's go here." Yeah. And me, I tried to hit the clubs that were near me, and they were all like bad reviews. They're like, "I got robbed here." I was like, "I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get my phone jacked. Uh, I'm straight." You got a yeah. fanny pack though. Got Yo, got I got luck. <laughs> so I'm like, "Fuck that." So I went to a bar, and it was cool. It was tight ass vibes. It was chill. I got a drink. I got pizza. I, it was more for like. It was cool for my like my vlogs I want to do and shit like film, but it was also for, like my mental health. Just hang out and just be by myself. I love being by myself. Yeah, I don't about that, but yeah. So it's cool, and I fucking hit the beach and it was and I went live a few times and just talk with people. And I come all I places, but you decided to go to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> well, that's where like my plane was landing. It didn't let me land in Miami. It just let me land in fucking. Fort well, what Lauderdale. was your plan though? You were like, were you gonna try to drive? My my, my my plan was to go to Fort Lauderdale and go to Miami and chill there. And all the locals were like, don't go to Miami. Don't go. Why not? Fuck Cause, the cause, locals. Cause, they live in I, Fort I Lauderdale. That. But they were saying, Fuck hey, them. <laughs> it's limited. They were like, it's limited parking. It's limited, super limited parking. Sounds There's like a, a fucking fights. bunch of losers fucking hating on I Miami. Guess. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Like They're like, drive by there and hang out, but don't stay there because it's bad. Okay, whatever. And I tried to hit the club the fucking first night I was there. And the app was acting up. Like, it wasn't working. So when it would ask you to put in your phone number, it would just send it to your email. I was like, what email? I put my phone number. So it would never send me the fucking link to go sign up. So I never got to hit the hit space. Yeah. I wanted to hit space. That was like a big reason why I fucking wanted to go to Miami, to go hit space. Be honest, while you were out there, did you see a lot of fucking coronas? 
fucking facts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, because it was raining, bro. No, it, it was raining. Fucking Fort they Lauderdale, bro. That's it's Fort La- is that there's still <laughs> whores in Fort Lauderdale. I don't think so. Yeah, but they're like, going to the I army, though. But like it, for spring break. They're there bro. for boot camp, though. They're, uh, they're there for spring break. They're not there for like summer. No, bro. They're yeah. there. Summer, on. everyone's going to Miami. Yeah. And but like spring break, I heard Fort Lauderdale is a That's such a random ass place to go to on a trip yeah, yeah. so well, fucking well, like my plane i try to, ass place I, to so i put my imagine enemy. some bitches in miami and she's like i'm gonna go to the Alien empire <laughs> <laughs> instead of la yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, bro, i'm next, gonna be in pasadena it's dumb because <laughs> next week for my birthday i'm trying to go to ogden utah bro <laughs> I bet it's a movie, dog. I try to go to Salt Lake City. Yeah. I, I tried to put Miami to land and it didn't let me land there. Like the dates so were fuck for, your for trip. Florida. That shit was ass. Be real. It was ass. Be it honest. Was, yeah. No, it was cool as fuck. Stop. I'm going to my. I'm going to me, It was cool. Cap or to no like, cap. To like record and shit. Yeah, it was a little ass because I didn't get it was like ass. crazy content. Yeah. But like as far as like me cool enjoying get, myself. Okay, it was cool to get away. But it yeah. probably wasn't worth the mo- how much you spent to fucking end um, up at Fort fucking Lauder. No, it wasn't because I want to hit Miami. There you go. I for sure did. There you but go. It, being it, if anything, it hypes it up for next time. So it's Fuck okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I know next time I'll probably go with a homie or two. I'll probably do some <laughs> other shit. You go to Miami and you're like, I'm thinking about going to Fort Lauderdale. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody, in, Miami, oh, everybody in Miami is like, nah, uh, that just sucks. Like, Overall, it was a cool ass trip. You didn't even go to Disney World? I wanted to, and it was far from where I was. Yeah, it's far from Fort Lauderdale. It was three it hours did. away. Everything. I don't, I don't know Florida. And when I was gonna go there, you're the Miami resident. Everybody's huh? like, "Hey, if you're not going to Disney or Universal, don't go to Orlando." And it's true. That's all that's there. And yeah. fucking crocodiles. Why, why are you so, like crocodiles? Did huh? you see any crocodiles? No, I saw none. They're like, "Oh, you gotta go more south." That's why. I'm not gonna go look for them, fools. Like what the fuck. Like I'm not gonna fight a teenage alligator. I'm straight. <laughs> what if a crocodile looks at Johnny and goes? I'm good, bro. <laughs> he was like, nah, I had enough today. <laughs> I'm full. Nah, that teenager I had yesterday was enough. Bro. I'm straight. <laughs> Chill on him. Yeah. Um, the food is different out there, though. You could come across a lot of fucking Cubans. I knew it was true, but I didn't know till I fucking Like people? Got yeah, like, you no know, animals. Yeah, yeah, like people. Like, I, I saw a bunch of Cubans. Boy, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, not dude, cigarettes, bro. Bro, I fucking pulled up and they were like, oh, yeah, chico. And I'm like, all right, this is cute. Oh, yeah, chico. Yeah. And I was like, okay, he's on. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, and I was like, I don't know what sabe. What's up? And I was like, just talking to him. And the guy was like, oh, like, you know, you're cool, whatever. And I'm like, all right, tight. And, and like, we just went around. It was cool. Nice food. Look, he sounds whack as fuck, John. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, bro. You guys, Me- you Mexicans guys, don't hate Cubans, huh? That sounds like a big ass waste of time. No yeah, cap. Like, it was fun. No, bro. We don't hate Cubans. What, why, what are you doing? I'm asking. No. Oh, wait, Mexicans no, don't, don't hate Cubans? No, there's no beef between Mexicans and Cubans. Well, there's no. is now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Shit. Go no, cook your banana. No, no, it's it's it was a fun trip. Um, no, at least, it, at least I don't know. Prepare myself. Don't go to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it sounds wild. okay. I but learned. that didn't answer our question. So at 28, how do you feel? <laughs> um, it's it's kind of like like you know where you're at and shit. You're kind of learning how like okay, you know what? Like I was young and I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Kind of now you're little. And now you're old, huh? <laughs> like hey, you don't know what the fuck. Nah, you're you doing. don't know, but you know you don't know. But it's like you grow <laughs> as you grow. That's good. Actually, it's kind of fire. You go kind of bars as you grow, bro. I truly feel like my dick I, does the same thing. Like it's like things that I used to fucking be like, dude, why are you so old? Why do you not like this? But now that I'm older, I'm like, why? Why are you doing that shit? Like, it's you're literally growing into a fucking old ass dude where you you don't fuck with. I kind of just shit. feel like, how do you feel at twenty seven? Older, you know? I I just feel like the older you get, the more the less you give a fuck. That's what I meant. The, like the more. I'm not saying like people around you, like people around you still give a fuck sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. sorry, Johnny. Um, no, Johnny knows. Johnny, like, I know there's some people who he wishes would give more of a fuck. Yeah. But it's like Johnny knows like the inf- by the way, shout out to you motherfuckers, the, the listeners and shit, because I know Johnny, no one cares Johnny, about Johnny's Johnny's DM's been going crazy as well. Like, everybody's been saying happy birthday to this fool. Thank Same you. thing on my birthday. Everybody was going crazy. It was fucking low key was a lot. I was like, damn. I was like You said thank you to everybody? <laughs> Like I tried, yeah, 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 I did. I did say thank you to everybody, but it low key got overwhelming and shit at one point. I was like, fuck, I didn't realize like the I'm so famous. How <laughs> <laughs> no, not even that's just how fuck <laughs> bag DMs. <laughs> I didn't realize like it, it was looking a lot. I was like fucking on my miss. But I'm joining. I'm sure. Bitch, like, you're bitches? gonna get it too on your birthday. Shut how many? How, how, how many bitches sent you pictures of the clips? Crazy, no. <laughs> okay, two and a half. Oh, real. But anyway, I'm saying like. I'm gonna send you a dick in, pic for your birthday. Internally, birth like yourself, you're like, oh, you give, you're like, fuck, fuck I'm getting old, yeah. you know? Yeah. Some you, people feel like that. Some people always have a want a celebration now for their parties. That's how I am. That's how I do. Mm. But yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm a friend too. But yeah, yeah. a lot of people like, 
Oh, it's my day. I need to shine today. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, facts. If I mean, I'm being honest, the more I celebrate my birthday, the more I'm like, it's not about me. It's about making sure other people think that they're celebrating me. But in reality, I'm trying to have like the homies there. That's all it is facts. for me at that I'm point. I'm trying to do something that I like. I hope we're doing like a live show for my birthday. Okay, that's completely different than what he said. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, in fact. Um, I, he literally I, said, yeah, exactly. I'm just watching something for Different. Me. And he <laughs> said nothing like that. I would like to do something that I like, but also like everybody else generally want to do it too. Like golfing. Like, like I, drugs. Not everybody wants to do golfing. Like, so it's cool. Whatever. Like, it's just what I want to do. So tomorrow, regardless, I'm going to do that shit. You know, whatever. Don't matter. But like, I'd also want to fucking have my friends. It's just so much better when you have a crowd of friends that like, Around you, it's different from doing shit by yourself. It's cool, and it's like, hey, you see that? Oh mm-hmm. shit, like nobody's here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's like it's tight, but like I'd rather have my homies there. So. I'm yeah. thinking about it. I might just go with you, Johnny. Yeah, at seven a.m. I would be as a fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, seven a.m. Never mind. I don't it's, know. It's about seven seven a.m. doesn't even exist. I'll do eight a.m. That's fine. I, I love you, but I don't look, know I love you. It gets hot as fuck when you golf and you're there for a fucking while, and I'm only doing like nine holes. But I know, call off. I'm down it's to go, tough. but I'm not down to go that day. I'm just be honest with you. That's cool. I'm down. Another another, another day. Another day will go. I I'm promise down. you. It's gonna be hot, low key. It is, and it, I mean, it's cheaper during the week too. But that's why I'm trying to go early because I, I like to see the sun rise and have a cool little breeze while you're golfing. It's cool, but when you get like. Fucking 11 or 12 p.m., 1 p.m. It's hot. Fuck that. I'm calling it's annoying. off. Then it's annoying. Then you got mosquitoes. Fuck. Hey, Isaac, I'm calling off. You know. <laughs> Isaac. It's a homie. Fuck. I'm working out. Fuck yeah, boy. Anyway, happy birthday to fucking us. Us. We, by the way, we have, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we've having a couple pistols on the... Yeah. Celebrating, you know? No, yeah, really. All of us, we've all had a couple pieces. I fucking the. I haven't alcohols. drank it all. If I'm okay, honest. shut up. <laughs> nah, yeah, we've having a good time. A shotgun, another one. When this episode drops, it's also my girl's birthday. So shout out to my girl. Shout out. It's to not about her right girl. now. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Come on, bro. It's about the boys right now, bro. Keep yeah. breathing. Hey, honestly, she could there. wait. Um, you no. know the app. <laughs> <laughs> she always pops up in the feed. Eh? Is there, is there something that like when you were a kid and you got your head smashed into the cake, where you were like, nah, fuck that, like I hate it, or you're like, okay, it's a tradition. No, I love like like would you my... follow that shit? I think everybody kid? as a kid hates that shit. Right? Okay, how, would you would you do old, that to your kid? No, 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 no. Hold on. Yes. How old were you when you first swung on your mom? Uh, Let's be honest. We all swung on our mom at least once. <laughs> oh, I don't think we did. No, I swung on my mom like twice, but she what beat my the... ass. Yeah. That bitch won. She was a stronger man. Yeah, no shit. She was a stronger man that day. You guys don't remember? Or do you remember the first time that you grabbed her like her hand and be yeah. like, I'm a man, motherfucker. Is that <laughs> I don't remember the age, but I do remember she was trying to whoop my ass and I was like, I remember that shit. Not today. Yeah. You, you. Yeah. I forgot like, she go. swore that you I, hit her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me levantas la mano. Hmm. Uh, no, I uh I remember just her hitting me and I'm like not actually not hurting. Yeah. That's what I remember. I don't remember the time you or what powerful. happened. You're like, but it just like it never but I would I the first time I know I said like it didn't hurt, it didn't even hurt, and that's yeah. why I fucked up. Oh but the, yeah! But the second time, everyone did that though. Yeah. Everyone was time. like, "Oh, like that didn't hurt." Yeah, the second time really? I'm like, it didn't hurt, but I'm just like, "All right, just took it." I'm like, "All right, cool." By the way, when right. I knew when I knew my I was gonna get my ass beat, I would put on a bunch of shorts and a bunch of jeans. I've that, done that, that shit too. That way, when my parents would hit me, where you put on a bunch of clothes and shit, so you could like yeah. not hurt. Or you ever hide the belt, but then she finds a bigger belt somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah. sibling ever bring her the belt? Yeah. Hey, but when you were the person that brought the belt, yeah. you're like, I'm honored. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the best <laughs> one. <Yeah. laughs> my bitch just bring the one that's bedazzled and I, shit. I would literally, I would literally look at my sister <laughs> just like, my sister would come in like bringing it like fucking prancing, yeah. and I would just dead stare at her the whole way. I I, and, to- and then watch when she hands it over to my mom, yeah. I just keep looking at her like. I it failed me. I used to know you. <laughs> I remember my sister. You're, you're dead to me. Yeah. My sister will always get the worst belt with the, the bumps on it, like the snake skin one. Yeah. That shit fucking hurt, dude. <laughs> nah, my mom used to have the big, the big ass belt, bro. Like this was impossible to fit on anybody per, on any person's jeans, bro. That ass. It was like way bigger than that. It was like a weightlifting belt. <laughs> that bitch used to hit me with that shit, bro. And it had a fucking picture of like a cholo ass bitch on there with like a sombrero. That's fire. And I fire. remember, bro, that shit used to. Fuck me up, bro. And then one time I hit it, I hit it, and then that's when she brought out like her fist. <laughs> what the fuck? She was like, "Fucking." She brought out the I'm, fucking nine. I'm gonna fist you tonight. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's where that's going. <laughs> nah, I had not. Anyway, had... Well, back to uh, his original question. Well, actually, no. Uh, real quick, I wanted just to add on that. I was fisting. Like, no, not on fisting. Uh, but I, I fucking, I was a bitch, dog. Because my, they were telling me the same shit. Yeah. Fuck you, Johnny. They tell me this. She's like, "Go get the go get the belt." 
Yeah. Like, when they're mad at my sister and yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm like, no. I'm not going to get it. You pussy. <laughs> I know, bro. I, real one. You should have betrayed her. Ah, real and one. She, and she could have said it. Nah, because low key. I remember though, one time, yeah, my dad was like, and I was like, no. And he was like, get me la And I'm fucking with my ass. And I was like, all right, now I'll get it, bro. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> nah, but. He brought out eight. But to be fair, though, your sister loves you, bro. Your sister loves you. She like, still want to pick the dough, huh? No, my sister <laughs> did go get it. Snake. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, but one time she did stop. Though. When I remember one time her her crying stopped my dad with my ass. So that was a good. So yeah. <laughs> she was like, stop hitting him. She, she wasn't crying. crying for you. She cried for herself. Nah, she next. was. Full. She was like, oh, it's because my dad would my ass, dog. I know. And then my sister goes, stop <laughs> hitting him. Stop. She started crying. I was like, let's go. Is your worse. Let's go. Do it again. <laughs> did you, go, did you guys sister. ever Did you guys ever feel like you guys deserved the belt, but you guys didn't get the belt? Yeah. There are a couple times where I, I deserved it, but not to that extent. Nah. It, my, mine was... Feeling like that was when like my dad told me he like disappointed in me, not just <laughs> beat my up. ass and just beat my just beat my ass instead, bro. Fuck yeah. this shit. I, just sucks. fuck me, bro. Okay. <laughs> I remember. I remember one time. Um, I went to Jonathan's house and we went to Johnny's house, right? And his sister dropped the pozole on their brand new couch. Fuck oh, my god. <laughs> Beto and always reads that shit. That, shit that shit's funny. so funny, bro. Because <laughs> it's no, so like, funny, it's traumatizing. Knowing Jonathan's mom and knowing my mom, they would beat our fucking asses, dude. Me. <laughs> Two. Yeah, so but Johnny's sister drops the fucking post. Pozole, you can't. Let him say it, on, bitch. Let him say it. Go ahead. Pozole stains, bro. That shit's fucking. That shit stays there forever. Hell, that fucking and oil. I remember it was a brand new couch, and Johnny's sister drops the pozole on the on their brand new couch. Yeah. And me and Jonathan look at each, me and Gazelle look at each other. And we're like, "Fuck, no way!" Like we, we thought she, we were about, to, about to get her. Ass. Yeah, Whoa, we yeah. thought we were about to win. It's so a fucking. <laughs> You're ass like, finally. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking. Yeah. So she drops the pozole, and then. She, uh, Johnny's mom goes, oh, no te preocupes, mija. And yeah. Then, and then me and, jo- me and Gazelle look at each other again like, what the <laughs> And I was like. <laughs> bro. Johnny goes, that's some bullshit, dog. <laughs> I'll leave a can out on the fucking table. She'll fucking be my ass. My sister dropped new fucking pozole rojo mm. on the fucking new couch. She fucked that Maybe couch. a week yeah. old couches. New ass couches. <laughs> round couches. Johnny goes, <laughs> my bed. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't my bed here. <laughs> but, but <laughs> I, just, I had to sleep on the couch. It wasn't my bed yet, but okay. It wasn't my bed yet. But <laughs> what am I going to sleep? Yo, that, <laughs> hey, what am I going to do? Clip, clip, clip. my fucking Harry Potter shit, bro. For, for it those, was stupid. For those who don't know, Johnny... Johnny didn't have his own room. Well, he, he did have his own room, but he shared his room with his brother, right? And it, mm. at one point, Johnny make, <laughs> made an executive decision, was like, fuck this, I'm going to the living room. So he moved into the living room. Like a man. Independent. Like, independent. I N D E. But I remember when he, and when he first moved in. When he first moved into his living room, bro. Johnny was the first thing I ever heard that moved out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first one in the crew to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, shit, like, those couches weren't made for you to sleep on, like, for, like, day in, day out, you know? Yeah. So that couch was, like, completely normal in the beginning. And then I remember, yeah, like, after, like, two, two years of Johnny just sleeping on that couch, that shit had a fat indentation, bro. Like, <laughs> it did, bro. <laughs> I, would go, I, would go over, I would go over and sit on Johnny's couch, and I'm like, bro, why is this shit so low to the ground, dog? Yeah. You know who has a fat indentation right now? This was now? Johnny's be- skinny days, by the way. You know who has a fat indentation right now? Who? Those people on the submarine, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yo, what a, what a lack of fucking empathy, huh? Low key. Like, okay, it's it's funny because like all the memes that were coming out, and especially on Twitter, Twitter doesn't give a fuck. They're, yeah. they're, they're kind of ruthless. Twitter gives shit. a fuck when they want to give a fuck. Right. That's the only problem. But like Twitter. Twitter doesn't doesn't care if people die or anything. But what was it about like these people being billionaires or like just having a lot of money that people were just like because they're billionaires. Fuck them. Because they're billionaires and, and they, they, yeah. they didn't give a fuck. That that felt like the like they're still people, I don't think like that, you know? but yeah. like they're still people and people were just like fuck it. Who like fuck them. I just feel like since we can't relate, like nobody could relate to that. Who yeah, could bro, they're not dead. The they're not dead. That's true. They're not dead. That's what I was wondering, bro. Like they're not a, dead. There's a little conspiracy that I wanted to run by. It was like, what if they are not dead? They're what not if dead. they were like, you know, this all this shit was remote controlled, right? You you don't know that all the- they know that you're not you're never gonna find the body. They know that you're never gonna find the 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 ship itself. They weren't even recorded or what, anything. What if into like, boat, bro? What if like, not as yeah. this is not to be insensitive. If the people did in fact lose their lives, true. But like, uh, let's say for example, if they, bro, first of all, this is called Ocean Gate. 
Like you ever heard of Watergate? Yeah. Like uh, Pizza Gate, Deflate Gate. Like what are the odds that your company is called Ocean Gate? You know, and you go down, you go on a submarine that's remote controlled by some shit that's like twenty dollars on the internet. And you're a billionaire, <laughs> and then this shit just disappears. You have no tracking device, no nothing. Yeah. It's all and that's not to be insensitive to the families because if you in, in fact did lose your family member, then um, you're just entertaining the fact congrats. that there, there might be a conspiracy. By the way, I didn't even know there was a conspiracy to this shit already. This shit just happened. What the fuck? What I mean, the any, fuck? anytime the, the, there's the a Netflix, billionaire. The Netflix documentary is coming out next week about it, bro. It should be hard. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. There's already a, do- a documentary on it. Wait, actually, I thought a lot of those, those that a bit. Uh, no, uh, yeah, there is. That's, there's a documentary already coming out on it. Are you serious? I thought it was I'm a bit. Serious. I thought it was a bit on the internet. That's why I said it. No, oh, there is. There is there's a documentary. There's a documentary that's coming out about it already. Let's go. Keep in mind. It's, like, it's like goal one and goal two and shit. <laughs> it give you the trailer at the end. Yeah. Like, give me goal three hey, where that fucker's hey, in Real Madrid. Keep in mind that the, in, the inspector for the ship, he said it was safe and they fired that fool. Keep that in mind. They fired him. I also saw that on the waiver, on the first page, it mentioned that three times. So it's like... Mm-hmm. They're trying to like they can't sue or anything. Look, I, like I said, I don't want to be insensitive to the families if you lost somebody in, in this. Um, They're not problem. listening to this. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. You're fucking rich. <laughs> you don't have to worry about. But I'm just saying, let's say for example, these people wanted to like not have an identity anymore, get a new identity where people do not know you. These are the per- perfect circumstances to do it under. That's all I'm saying. I heard that they were under fire for some shit else. Like they owed something. Everybody that was in the ship was under some shit. I think so. Some they shit. paid. Wait, except, okay, but I think except for the creator, because they, they the underwater. one that invented it was in there too. They paid this guy two hundred and fifty grand each. Each person paid yeah. two hundred and fifty grand to do this tour to go and see the Titanic. It's like a mill. How many people were in that submarine? Five, including right. the person that owns it. So, so, so four so persons. It's a, mil- a million dollars. Million dollars. Right. A million dollar trip. And, like, you know, if you have a sum, like, this probably wouldn't be your first option, is what I'm saying. You'd probably go with a professional that knows what they're doing, not someone that's gonna rem- <laughs> have a remote that's from Logitech, <laughs> like, yeah, like hard. from blue tissue, you know? Let's Bro. say, let's say the shit was real. I saw that a YouTuber was about to go on it and it got canceled because of bad weather. Mm-hmm. So, if this shit was real, that YouTuber got lucky because he, he literally recorded like he was inside the submarine. And he was vlogging like, oh, shit, we're about to go see the Titanic. Oh, okay. And that shit got canceled. Oh, hey, shit. Hey, conspire this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. Yeah, it's yeah, back. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, so, what, that's crazy, right? Like, um, if this shit is real, like, how lucky he got. Like, yeah. bad weather saved his life. Because that shit, that would have been him instead of the... <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. I do think it's real. I don't... I mean, the conspiracies are fun to, like, yeah. talk about and shit. I remember feeling crazy as fuck. Like, stupid as fuck, bro. Like, normally... Like, more than normally stupid. Because I was like... Facts. I, I, I think... I, I seen that shit, like, days before, like, all this shit happened. Yeah. And they're like... Yeah. Let's take oh, a shot. Or, like, I'm down. Like, like, we're, like we're letting <laughs> submarines go and to see Titanic. And I was like, damn, I don't, I don't have the money for that. But that sounds sick as fuck. <laughs> Let's you say know? for let's say for example. Well, hold up. So I remember seeing it and I was like, damn. Let him cook. Let him cook. That's that's just tight. And I was like, that sounds cool. And then a few days later, oh, it sank. It's lost. The balls of the two of you to fucking sit over there and just be like, this should just happen. You guys are like conspiracy. <laughs> It is. It is, though. It is. It is. Hey, but no yeah. offense to the family. I don't want to cause anything. To yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. But prayers to no. the family <laughs> and everybody that was involved. Hey, pray, pray, pray. That sucks. Yeah. Prayers up. Yo, the last time I had a sub, it was at Subway. Why is know? nobody so. talking about all the migrants that sink on a ship? Facts. Recently. Other Facts. Well, Exactly. Facts. Why is nobody <laughs> talking about that? We gonna cut this out. We gonna cut this no, out. No, no, no. no. We're gonna, right. Right. These conspiracy right. theories are like really why are like, nobody talking about that? Believable though. Or the UFO landing in Vegas. Why is nobody talking okay, about that? Okay, run it, me through the first one you said because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about right now. Migrants, about thirty-four migrants sank in a in ship. Greece. They're they're gone. They're in missing. Greece. What are they? What are they? They were, I heard they were migraines. What the hey, hey, it's a migrants. It's like a headache. That's like a, doesn't go away. Yeah, so I, know, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know what that is. <laughs> Just like Johnny doesn't What's go a, away. <laughs> it hurts. Facts. What's a migraine or the grasa? Yeah. Go ahead. Migrants. <laughs> migrants. I did not make that oh, reference. <laughs> my, my migrants. Yes. yes. Like the opposite of immigrants. Yes. No. No. Yes. It's the same thing. No. It's no. Migrants. They're are. they're migrating. No. They're migrating. Actually, yeah. my, migrating. They, but they're going back to their country. No. No, migrating, migrating is, is moving. Just like you're moving somewhere. Okay, let's say a, a group of going crows. somewhere illegally. They went missing. About 34 <laughs> of them to like 50. I don't know how many. It's a lot. Where? Where, where they go missing? In Greece. In Italy. Just randomly? Greece. Yeah. 
Just, wait, but in the sea, right. in the, sea. The, the ship sinks some shot right. or whatever. They don't know where they're at. Okay. Why is nobody talking about them? Because they're not American. Fact. No, I think maybe possibly. I don't want to disrespect the dead. It no. it sucks what happened with whatever happened. It's really unfortunate. Just say what you believe, bitch. But I do believe maybe it might have been like a distraction. Hey, they're going to go see Titanic. Oh, everybody's gonna be interested. They know what rises up people. They know what gets people talking. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. wants to talk about it. And then maybe it it was a a a kind of a. A catastrophic fa failure, you know. It was just like, and they're going sideways. Okay. Compared, like this is hey, this is what's going on. Oh shit, they actually some shit happened. Maybe that's what happened. But why is it they have nothing? You're a billionaire. You don't. You got no tracking device. No, no homie. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. But my question is, why? Why would they want to distract for the migrants though? Like, what? It, what is? What's so important about the? How migrants? many times have you heard? I've heard about the migrants this past month. Okay, 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 I, but I, I, have, I, I haven't I have, at all. Okay, so what, and I know what he's referring to, but what's the point of like not uh, talking about that? Yeah, what was the point of, exactly? Because so many questions pop up. People don't want shit popping up and they're like, hey, what happened? What happened? They press the shit and they're going to get an answer. And I feel like maybe the I higher get that, ups but don't what's want. so important about the migrant? And this leads all because back people then get like sued and they fucking be like, why did it happen? What was the reason? And they don't want the shit on their hands. And you know what? Forget about these 30 people. These five billionaires are missing. Oh okay. shit. Uh, I I'm like I think just, I think you can talk about all these Hispanics that all get killed in Mexico. A hundred of them got murdered. A, I gotta look this up. Hey, guess what? These five white people are missing. Oh shit! And by Titanic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Every, be fair, two how of many them, memes have you seen friend, of the Titanic NBA. shit? Like so many memes. They know what gets trending. They know what gets people talking. Because that's they more all entertaining. Wanna, it's more entertaining. Nobody's gonna care about people migrating on a on a little ship. Like I'm having trouble understanding if you've actually made a point yet. Yeah. So what's scarier? So what what's scarier? Spiders or the ocean? Facts. Right. Spiders. I, I, I don't it's say it's because like yeah, you spiders. answer the question by like making a I'll another question. No, making like a hypothetical. Yeah, making a hypothetical, and it's like yeah, that's you're not answering the, our initial question. I so. just don't understand why they're trying to like get people away from that shit. There's got to be a reason that like they mm -hmm. were missing, and they probably don't want fire under the okay. feet. So like, hey, you know what? Hey, like there you go. That's they the they did the whole little voyage. That's the answer. It gets everybody entertaining into Titanic. Oh shit! Like Titanic. But I guess that man in his question was, "What is it that they're hiding in in your case?" I don't know. And you don't know, and that's the answer we were looking for. I just, I think I just, that they don't want to get sh shit. Am I tripping? Or that you're no, no yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. I I think that they just don't want to get shitted on for it. They don't want to get shitted on for it. Why is nobody talking about the whole like you UFO shit? They talked about it for a bit and gone, and now they're saying that the dude's missing. When he literally posted a TikTok, hey, rest I'm, in, I'm not missing. Rest in peace to those people, by the way, because yeah. you know, you know, That's, even if let's say, for example, uh, under a conspiracy lens, that these people did in fact fake their deaths, you know, and go and do something else. I agree. Then rest in peace to those people because those people that we know on the sub are gone. And everybody's trying to make a conspiracy theory out of them when they just died and it sucks. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you're doing that. <laughs> like right now. Like right I now. Am, I am, I am, I am. I'm saying that's what is possible. But it does nah. suck. It does suck if that actually happened and they, they just had an accident and it sucks that if that's what happened, I feel really bad for them and who right. knows how the last moments were and that fucking sucks. It does. Well, if yeah. it imploded, well, like they said, it yeah, literally in like what I heard, they the, they felt no pain. If, I, if, if I, it was if, if it was saying? if it imploded, as best case they scenario, said, and I, they heard, I heard that they probably like knew it was going to happen because of what was going okay, on. Okay, but not not dreams cooking. No, no, I feel like that. What they have said was that it had imploded, and that's why they heard the banging that they did. Because in fact, like yeah. when they said that, um, what they said, how much oxygen that they had at the moment may have not been enough, like. Fuck. Not in comparison because you also have like to have a CO2 scanner or whatever that's like doing the same thing that the oxygen tank does, you know, because when you're breathing inside of a submarine, you have to make sure that the CO2 gets out, you know, you can't have that. Mm -hmm. So their belief is that a lot of people who a lot of people believe that they did not have the necessary precautions to even survive as long as they did. Yeah, that is simply the fact that it imploded was just the aftermath of like you know them already that, that they probably already died and it's yeah. weird but the fact is that oh, well what they had said is that basically that the the submarine did implode and that honestly that's probably the the best way that anybody ever could go out 
basically. It's like it's you don't even realize quickest. what's going on because you lose oxygen. You don't even realize what's going on at that point. Yeah, because I was thinking about that. I was like, imagine, like, because remember, like, the whole rescue mission happened. But rest in peace to the other victims that, that succumbed to that hmm. result. Yeah. But it's like, imagine they were still alive, right? Yeah. And this rescue mission was, uh, took place. I was thinking, I was like, if they actually find them, or, I mean, what, what if they actually find them and it's already too late, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's say they were alive and they're at the fucking, which, by the way, in the end, we ended up finding out that that didn't happen. But also, another conspiracy, I guess, could be like, maybe they just said that, like, oh, it imploded for, so that the, they wouldn't get on their case, on their head, too. Because, mm -hmm. like, what if they did fucking, they go to, we don't know the the reality of what, what could have happened, but what if they did end up at the fucking trenches of the ocean and they literally died because of lack of oxygen. Imagine the death, like having to gas for air, like, mm -hmm. like, bro, that, that would have way more people up in arms. Like that's how they went. That's fucking crazy. Oh, so, it, especially it the family. Yeah. Like the family. So like, maybe it could be like, oh, you know what? Let's just like, they're not going to fucking know. Let's just tell them it fucking imploded before it, it could even, but yeah, by the way, yeah. but I guess it could make scientific, um, it, it could make a uh, sense, right? Scientifically. Yeah. Cause I guess if it gets to like a certain uh, sea level, uh, below sea level, you know, level, there's a lot of yeah. uh, pressure and shit. So mm -hmm. I don't. I, what I want to know is like if this shit's all real, assuming it's all real, how the fuck does this shit even get cleared? Or can you just go out into the middle of the ocean and do whatever the fuck you want? I want to fuck a bitch like at that yep. level Here to see if the pussy like fucking just <laughs> contracts the pressure, right? The pressure of it, right? Just fucking right, right. squeeze my dick off. You okay, know? okay. That's what I want. So what do you guys think about that? The killer whale shit. I would have fucked the there shit was, out of a killer whale. There was memes about like it's the killer whales they got them. <laughs> it's like wait, <laughs> yeah, it's you ma. I know. I, I, I feel like <laughs> these places have to stop having wild animals as entertainment because it's gonna get out of hand. Wait, wait, okay. Are we, are we talking about the same thing? Whales. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Okay, so why are the whales killing them in the ocean? That's also you just Ooh, doing the hey, backstroke. Johnny, whales the country, dog. Yeah. I what think are you talking about? I think if Christian Bell... No, I'm kidding. Yeah, you're kidding. <laughs> I was like, what? No, because look, let me show you guys. Singer. I think if Christian Bell is that striker, like, there's no stopping whales. Okay, so it's whales killing people, right? You're saying? No, because okay. look, okay. let, me, let me show you guys something real quick. Okay. So... Christian Bell is like a... Monkey. I'm going to pop it up on the... Okay, well, his name is Gareth, but... Editing. Yeah. So when these people well, went Christian missing... Christian Bell, too. When people when these people went missing underwater, they posted this on the internet. I don't know if you guys saw this. No. It's like, the whales got them. <laughs> <laughs> you see these spoons? They got like spoons and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything we throw in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we throw a in the water. A bunch of straws and so shit. Like, I don't know what that even means, but I just thought it was funny. It's good advocacy. Honestly. <laughs> I... Huh? Don't know what the fuck you're talking about. John. It's good etiquette. Like those fools aren't just gonna small you. That they use a spoon. They use a napkin. You know. Yeah, but what 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 is that shit about? Do you guys know? Like, like I guess um, the, the well, some got orcas uh, have been attacking yachts pretty much. Okay, right? there we uh, go. There's about I think like, orcas are gay. Over 300 attacks in the since 2020. I think orcas, and that's very and that's very rare for them to do it, but they're doing it now. They're flipping shit over, right? Yeah, then they're, they're going and they're breaking your boat. Like they're just going and like trying to break your boat. So they're fighting. These back. motherfuckers are violating. What if they did that shit to the street vendors? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what, if, what if those were the attackers of the street vendors and we we're just fucking oblivious to this shit, but it was really fucking orcas that orchestrated this whole shit. Orchestrated, get it? Orchestrated this whole shit. One more talking. time. One more time. Cookie, one more orchestrated time. orca, orchestrated this whole Bars. shit to rapper. make sure that these fucking street vendors did not get paid. I'm just saying, bro, these fucking orcas are fucking racist. We need to kill all of them. And... and <laughs> <laughs> Prove my point. I'll pass him down. By the way, Bethel's be stone. Dreams here. Damn. Straight. Uh, Take one, pass okay. it down. I literally just got a new one. Hey, when was the last time I did that was in class when I was in school? Take one, pass it down. Huh. And that was the last time I got fucked up. They've just, just been attacking. Huh? I think that so they're attacking in shows or in the ocean? No, in the ocean. In the ocean. In the ocean. In the ocean. Another it's point. Squads. As to why the ocean is far scarier than a fucking pussy ass spider. Okay, but nah, not spiders always, are way scarier. You don't live in the ocean, ocean though. There's okay. fucking orcas. Hey, you're, just, no, you're on. Imagine you're just fucking out there in the in the ocean on your boat, on your nice ass fucking boat, oh. and these orcas just go, boom, bitch. <laughs> I'm fact. here. I don't care. I am him. He's fucking, you know what's scarier than territory. that? You know what's scarier than that? Not a spider. I'll tell you that much. It's a spider. No. Because uh, when's the last time you've been in the ocean? Yesterday. 
Okay. It doesn't matter. That argument's that fucking answer? stupid. That argument's stupid the as fuck. Question. It's really not, though. It's, it's just not. stupid argument. It's not, so answer though. it, and I'll, I'll get to it. What's the last time you've been in the ocean? The question was, what? When's the last time you've been in the ocean? I was in Hawaii recently. Okay, how okay. long ago? Doesn't a couple months. Jo Johnny. A couple months. Answer my. The, <laughs> after, answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, answer the question. What's scarier, the ocean or spiders? I can, cool. How many hours have we talked about this? Another clip, baby. Here we so, go. You're never like this. <sighs> no, Johnny. In the ocean. They're not going to. No, 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 no. They're not going to creep on you, bro. Johnny. Spiders. Get you, bro. When? Oh, shit. Spider. When was the last time you got bit by a spider? Yes. When? Yes, I don't know. They can be when? sleeping. Yes, when was the last time a spider attacked you? Yesterday. I bet you they were never. Yesterday. No. Spiders don't attack you Gazelle. because you're not a fly, dumb fuck. No, spiders on the side of your house always like hey, this. Hey, by the way, when you <laughs> got here, I saw you go like this, <laughs> driving a car. Did I see you go? <laughs> no, because you're not a fly. <laughs> what were you trying to kill are before the fly? pod? What were you trying to kill before Did the pod? Fly a fly. Here? Are you an insect? Flies are New York spiders. to you. Okay. <laughs> Rook, you okay. can avoid the ocean. You can't I, avoid spiders. The question was, and we can run back the clip from the, that podcast. I don't even know what run episode it. it was. Objectively, what's scarier, the ocean or the spiders? What the question you... was not, what do you encounter more frequently? That okay. was not the question. Okay, sir. I can't be afraid of the moon. When am I going to touch the moon? Never. Do you think... Do you Why th would you be scared of the moon? Why do would you, you be scared of the you think... fucking water when you're never near because it? Because orcas are flipping butts over. Yeah, because the focus oh, is fucking oh, oh, you. You're scared, of, you're, oh, scared of, of, you're scared of tuna, bro. Relax. I'm not scared you're of scared fucking of tuna. tuna. So, fuck tuna. When would an orca be in fucking the high desert? What would it be up yeah. to hell? Never. Never. Barrier, you don't hear. <laughs> Never. Wait. Okay. At the Victor Bell you don't hear mall. Fuck that, bro. You may just chilling in your fucking. Imagine just chilling on your fucking boat and you get attacked by orcas, fool. Out why am I on a boat? That, like, why wouldn't you be? Like, if, don't if you, go fishing. If, 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 you get, if you get invited to uh, a yacht by JOP and we're chilling on the fucking. On the, okay, on the, on the, on the, on the fucking <laughs> edge and an orcas just go. Ram! Ram! I'm just chomping out the shit. What are we going to do? Go to land. Oh, we're in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> Talk to him, Lalo. I'll tell that fool play some Bessel Blue, man, fool. I don't give a fuck. And you know what? So nah. And JLP hates spiders, too. <laughs> hey, you know what would be some bullshit, though? That's what I'm saying. We're, we're all on a boat, like all of us and shit, the five of us, just as homies. Like, we're and, chilling, we're having a good time on a boat. I sacrifice you. No, well, let me fucking say it, <laughs> bitch. Let him cook, let him cook, let him cook. God. Annoying. Happy right? birthday. So imagine when the five of us are on a boat, right? We're having a good ass time. We're drinking, uh -huh. fucking, fucking. If we have Fuerza Reina playing, playing uh -huh. and a Some fucking girls. spider comes out of the ocean and goes, and he flips, <laughs> <laughs> and he flips us over. It's not like you. There right? is ocean spiders. Our two biggest fears. <laughs> spider, a spider Wait, in the Lalo. ocean though. Is it going to be talking about that again? Please tell him. Huh? Tell him what you just said. There's ocean spiders. There's, There's ocean, ocean spiders. spiders. Is there land whales? No. <laughs> That, I don't know. I'm looking at one right now. Yeah, go to McDonald's. Stop. Spiders are worse. Wait, out. So let me look up this orca shit. All right. You don't wake up and be like, ah, spider. You don't yeah, say that. Ah, Free Willy yeah. tricked us all to think that they were all nice. Hey, and so did Shamu have, too. Have they, really killed, cry. have they killed anybody? Have you guys looked that up? No. You said you were gonna do it, bro. I don't go in the ocean like you. That's what I'm saying. The idea. Um, I don't think they kill humans, though. By the way, there's never been Sorry. a case of an orca harming a human in the wild. In the wild, yeah, yeah, because they do harm them like in the shows and shit. Yeah, because I saw yeah, black that's what I'm fish. Saying. You can avoid it, bro. Right? It Only a documentary. Yeah. Black you world. cannot avoid spiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there hasn't. There hasn't been any. Uh, they, they attack them, but I think they let them go and shit. Team Spider. But regardless, like if if they they have the power to break your fucking, you're gonna leave them hanging. By the way, they have the power to break your fucking boat. Um. And you're trapped in the middle of the sea, bro. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, I mean, you're gonna call for help, but oh, no, but what I'm those is like, all I'm saying is, yeah, it's scarier in the ocean, but well, that's enough. I, I'm already no, you're good with right spiders. You're good. You're good. Yeah, that's it. But like, stop it. The arguments are. When will I be in the ocean? Yeah, Rare, he has bro. a point there, though. You, you stay on land. That there. wasn't the question, go to the ocean. Though. It doesn't matter what you, you think is scarier. I think I think it matters. It does it? I think it more does. Okay, but that was the whole argument. But how no, close you encounter does, something makes something more I'll scarier. Think I think I don't think I find. Yeah, but okay, sure. Uh, let's let's use your logic for a second. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's not use your logic. No, no, okay. it's stupid. Don't listen to me. But let's be real. Like even the two of you who have who, by the way, you guys. 
don't fuck with spiders. Let's no, be real. I'm scared. I'm not scared of spiders. You don't I, fuck with I, them. I am. Though. I am. I am okay. I'm not scared of spiders. But you don't anymore. fuck with them. Let's be real. Yeah, no, fuck those fools. Yeah, okay. I'll fuck. But them when up. was the last time you guys got bit by a fucking spider? When did you get bit by a whale? When was the last know. time you died by a spider? Don't ask me because I lie. When you seen a whale before? Have you seen a whale before? Yeah, I have actually. Went to Hawaii. Whales are in Hawaii. I don't know. I heard about a couple who were out there. I have a um, question for you guys. Tony, they're not just in the Antarctic, bro. Okay, shut the you, fuck <laughs> up. Dog. You saw one in Hawaii? <laughs> just say stupid it's shit so now. He's that. like, they're only in Fort Lauderdale. Dog. No, but I'm saying <laughs> shit out there, bro. You can say on land, oh well, we're not going to your house. Boop, 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 kill you. They're not going to, bro. That's not the question. That's not the question. All I'm saying is more probable for a spider to get you than a whale to kill Therefore, you. Therefore, bite you. Know you know what? After his Therefore, argument, I'm not scared of spiders anymore. <laughs> That's I'm scared what? of the ocean. <laughs> Look, no, yeah, me too. Look, like eighty percent of the ocean is not discovered. That means there's you know that we know more. Have you, guys, have you guys ever heard of ocean snakes? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. There's They're snakes so in the fucking ocean. We know ocean, more about bro. the moon than we know about ocean. I understand that it's scarier in the ocean. What about the lalo? But you can avoid. Beto, how do you feel about this whole thing, bro? You're you're, you're neutral. Racist. Yeah, I'm pretty neutral because I'm pretty scared of spiders, but I could also I'm also scared of the ocean. You know? Okay, but how many times you been? He's just like ah. <laughs> but, I have a question for you guys. What's scarier? Spiders, the ocean, or I wouldn't school shooters or public shooters? How would you say that? <laughs> Prostitutes. <laughs> definitely. Active shooters. Active shooters. I feel like after sh- shooters, you can go shh, get away. And then like compared to like spiders. <laughs> yeah, probably active shooters, bro. Yeah, active shooters. Yeah, what the fuck? But that's yeah. what I think that I think we we're like gonna answer that because we're from America. Yeah. yeah. I think if you ask another country, like what the fuck would I want? We're like, hey, get away. <laughs> You know, you scare him. You feel me? Nah, he's not is, that, is that what you heard before? Good bit. Yeah. We should be laughing. It's his birthday. Make <laughs> 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 the clip. Uh, I think spiders are scary. <laughs> they are. <laughs> then school Happy shooters. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Here's my pity vote. Ah, uh, school shooter. Ah, uh, spider. Ah. Uh. No, yeah, bro. There, there's not. I don't. Dude, think there's, there's a recorded death. You bro. don't go to the ocean like. I would kill by accident. I think we're done with that fucking a school shooter argument. Yeah, yeah, because or- I think I could beat a school shooter. No, you can't. How you many times you think you, orcas know they're getting killed by boats, right? Eventually, you, you, it, it, evolution is gonna like catch up, right? Like the one that got away is always gonna be able to fucking communicate to the others. Like these motherfuckers keep harming us. These boats keep harming us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're fighting back. They're smart. They're, they're like, smart. Like, I'm not gonna like, deny. It's just like what the fuck? Let's just. I w- like there, there's one boat. There's eight of us. Are they? And we're do- bigger than the boat. Are they doing it for self defense or are they doing it? I'm for assuming fun? it's self defense, bro. Because I heard just motherfuckers just be having fun, bro. Like well, dolphins. that's true because dolphins they do that be with seals. dolphins be raping people. Yeah, yeah. they do. They do. They, they, for they, fun. They, they, I, no, they, they do. Yeah. They actually like, like that's they like the first how person I was molested. I think they by. do it. I don't think they do it for well, no. I guess yeah, they do do it for fun. Yeah, but they do it because. Like uh, to... Can I finish? I right, cool. I I heard dolphins. And humans are like the only ones that can feel pleasure from nutting. Bang, 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 bang. So if we smack dolphins, they'd be like, what <laughs> the fuck? Now we're talking. I'd smash a dolphin. Hey, now we're potting, Johnny. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what kind of dolphin would you smash if you had the chance? Look, Honestly, have the you one seen dolphin down. pussy? Pink, pink dolphin? <laughs> that shit is fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck a dolphin. Have you guys bro. not seen dolphin pussy? No. I've no. seen dolphin pussy. Have you seen pussy? it? No. I'm going to show you. I'm going to fuck it. No, you don't have to. I'm going to okay. get put on it's a on my OnlyFans. Hey, you fucking know that like fishermen used to like smash like like manatees because they look like... <laughs> Last week I was like, hey, have you guys seen that? I know a bitch that looks like a manatee. <laughs> well, like a what? Like a manatee. <laughs> Like a what? Like Look a at manatee. that fire ass shit. Dog. Like a manatee? What the fuck yeah. is that? It's a manatee. That's well, her do- name is Sandra. Look Who's that? that? That's dolphin pussy. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Let me see. Look at that. What is that? Pass that over That's here. Gross. I need to see that shit. That's weird. Oh, fucking crazy. Oh, it's smash. Yes. Oh, it's smash. <laughs> This is look at this is by far the best pussy I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever fucked a pussy. <laughs> and I'm with that. and I'm with someone I love. <laughs> dreams. And that's the best that's pussy I've ever seen. Johnny, I would put this clip in my mouth. Johnny, in like, your really fuck, don't know what I'm in your life, have you ever fucked a pussy? What the aesthetically fuck? That's pleasing? weird. Hey, call me Jim. Call me <laughs> yeah, Jim. Yeah, no shit, Johnny. I'm not out there actively fucking dolphins. You both. You sure? <laughs> well, it's not a dolphin. It's a manatee. You said. Call me Jim from the office. Are you oh, it's a dolphin? Oh, okay. It's a dolphin. Call me Jim hey, from good. the call me Jim from the office because they're gonna call me Big Tuna after that shit. I'm not gonna post it, but y'all go ahead, just go into Google and put dolphin pussy in. Let me know if you guys think that pussy looks fire or not. <laughs> fat, fat <laughs> pussy. So a lot of you bitches have fishy ass tuna pussy and it fucking stinks. 
So what I so as you guys know on the Tuesday and Thursday story, <laughs> that was a great transition. I love as you it. guys know, I, was on the, I transitioned better than a fourteen year old boy. Okay, but uh, as you guys know on the Tuesday and Thursday <laughs> story, you know I go and ask you guys a cool bunch of questions, or sometimes I ask you guys to ask us a bunch of questions so that way we can answer them them on the podcast, right? And so we come with this first question that says, "Let's say you meet a girl. You guys are basically soulmates, but she has a kid. What are you doing, James?" Your soulmate. I'm killing that kid. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There's no better answer. Don't go fight that shit, man. Nah, he's right. Nah, no, yeah, right, cooking, bro. He's it's cooking. like you're like a lion, bro. Arr. If the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that's a game. <laughs> yeah. But if the last fucking <laughs> lion, because you know how like lions take over prides. Yeah. So if you take over that fucking pride, you kill all the offspring of the last lion. Gay sure pride or like man, that's wait for real? That's what happens. Yeah. yeah. Sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, so James is a fucking lion, bro. I always knew that, by the way. Meow. No, but the real answer is like, bro, yeah, what? who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, that's your soulmate, bro. I don't give a fuck. You, you're raising a kid now. That's your kid now. Like, as a t- like 19-year-old, you're like, oh, shit, whatever. I want to, like, have my own. Whatever. Bro, we're you, adults. You got to be. Oh, yeah, but okay, here's the thing. You have to be ready to want to take on that responsibility. You're, at you're, the end of the day, you're not. If you're, you're going to be a, a mom or a dad. So you have to be, be ready for that shit, you know. You're not dating a girl. You're she comes with a package, and you have to accept that because she is not fries. just like you're, like you're not gonna be. Like, hey, I want to take you to the movies. You have to prepare be, be prepared to be like, hey, I'm taking you and your child. Yeah, to you're getting movies. the combo. It is a combo, yeah. and that's the way you gotta accept it. Either you're not mature enough to accept that, and this is who you want to be with. That's who comes with her, and if you're not cool with it, then don't be with her. That's as simple as that. Bam. That was, and now that everybody was, can be mature to accept that. That was yeah, beautiful. You call call me immature, but I wouldn't. No, nah, I, I, mean, just, I, just feel like, I just feel like uh, your significant other should be the number one person in your life, and then kids, that too. But also, should you're, be second. But you're not gonna be like, hey, let's go to movies. And if you're fuck if, your kid, if your significant other has a kid, then you're never gonna be first in her life or his life. You and, you, and you gotta set that too. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, I guess then Facts. then you have to be like I said, but that's that's a decision you have to make. Like, do I want to be fucking second in her life or his no. life? They had a child, and are you okay with that? And if you are, like, then you're. Right. I'm really gonna rock for her or him. I'm drowning. But if you're not, then just move on. You know, find somebody else. That easy. Facts. Is me or you have to be ready though, bro. Blowing that kid off a bridge. (laughs) But and that's a line right there for you. If you won the lotto right now, what's the first thing that you're doing? I'm buying a bunch of prostitutes, (laughs) as many as I can. It's the same thing a lion would do, bro. Right. 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 Gazelle, what'd you do? (laughs) (laughs) What'd you do, Gazelle? Realistically, or as a bit. Realistically, uh, come on. Okay, bit first. you know what this is. <laughs> bit first, you know what this is. I'm killing all the homies. I'm killing like all the of the kids. What the fuck? Okay, Lalo, bit. Uh, buying a house. <laughs> that's a, a bit. That's a good bit. That's a good bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a good bit, huh? If we just laughing all the way to the bank, <laughs> <laughs> all the way to escrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me straight through escrow. I don't gotta wait for shit. Uh, I got it, the money up front. Me churches. <laughs> Fuck. You win the lottery, you just go to a fucking bullshit like, like a Catholic. I'll go to George's, add barbecue on that bitch. Uh, the dollar thirty seven. Yeah, Never I won the lottery. I'm go fuck. Yeah. Uh, Tito, bit. What would you do? I'd pay off your guys' AC. Let's go. Two G's deep for us. <laughs> that's just great. That's why. Okay, who cares? Okay, okay. Because what would you do? Uh, I buy a I like that one. Bunch of fucking equipment. But honestly, you set up your family for life. Yeah. You get them a pad. Equipment. Fuck you that. set up the homies for life. You get them a pad. Fucks. And then um, help, help them out with their businesses. I'm going on a submarine and I'm faking my death. <laughs> I'll just say it. That's a good one. <laughs> That's actually really good. No, then y'all can't. That's not the son that somebody would do. Oh my God, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not. Yeah. Lalo, what would you do? Realistically. Yeah. Buy houses. <laughs> Buy houses again. I, I, I agree with that one. I, I feel like I'll we still don't release any merch. <laughs> <laughs> Buy houses again. That's it. Fuck the merch. <laughs> uh, and fuck y'all. We up. Nah, we now nah, we do have. Some. We stopped the podcast for sure. How do you deal with the stingy friend? Me está me está llevando a la quebra. Oh damn. Okay, I get it. So like. Yeah. You're chilling with a homie who's fucking broke as fuck all the damn. No, nah, not even broke. Nah, just like, stingy. Like, he got money. He's just like. Just he, he and then you're always him. paying for shit. Yeah. You don't yeah. fucking invite him anymore. Fuck him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I would fuck that homie. No. Or just be like, next time you're out, you'll be like, hey, fool, I don't got money, dog. Can you get it? 
when you order, be like, hey, bro, go next. Step back. I'd be like, hey, yo, send me the $40 for the thing. Yeah, I'll just fucking say it, bro. Like, hey, bro, send me the fucking $40 for the pot roast you bought at Denny's. <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> it, bro. Like, fuck it. If you gonna... I don't like that, bro. I don't like when people are stingy as fuck. Like, I don't like it. Just me neither. I hate it, that shit. Because I'm always giving. Like, you know? Like, mm-hmm. and I get it. Maybe your situation doesn't always call for that. But I'm pretty sure that I would know, like, where's the boundary of, like, of, like, when you can spend some yeah. shit, you know? Like, oh, I know for a fact, like, you probably can't go to Calaveras. But mm. if it's Denny's, well, come on, fool. Like, you've just been cool at that point. Yeah, stop. Facts. Yeah. Facaroni. I think you got it around the head. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to Johnny? I think that's true. My, I, I think you have to, com- like, communicate that with your homie. Or at least, like, be like, hey. Like, remind them. If you're going to spot them, be like, hey, you got next time? Cool. All right. And then you run it. Like, at least those know the plan and know it's, like, it's, like, uh, equal. It's not just a, I got you, don't worry, you know, like, because mm-hmm. then people kind of get like, be like being acostumbrado. Because I used to have a homie like that, where like, when we went out, he's just like, step back. And I was like, oh, like, I have you, homie. Then it was a while, and I was like, okay, like, I'm not dating you, fool, relax. <laughs> and then, like, You're one time, my one dick. time, one time, like, I had ordered, and then that, that fool was about to go after me to order. And the lady was like, is that it? I was like, that's it. And he, like, bought us wallet. I'm like, I thought you were broke. Okay, like go, fool. Like you're just playing me now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Like, you, you know? Who's so, that one fool that you said that you used to buy toys, like literally right in your face and buy like a bunch of comic Kevin. book shit? Yeah. Kevin, and that fool would never pay for shit. Like, like yeah, like that fool would. He was just used to me fucking paying. He's like, I, I got your bag, but then he just got acostumbrado. Wait, and wait, like, toys or figurines is, is a very important question. Figurines, bro. What right. toys? Like, we went out. He's like, <laughs> he got like, bro, that fool had like. A bit left, like this other dude. This dude had like a bit left, and he was just like, he had sixteen bucks left in his bank account. He went and bought a fifteen dollar toy, and he was like, "That's okay." That's something that I can never say about you that you um that you're never been stingy. If anything, you give money when you don't have it. It's yeah. like your problem. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of your problem, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think that, that's the only I was the only problem I ever had probably with this. Food. I would even say like that's his only problem. Like, no, I think not he, only, he, but yeah. no, yeah, because because you, you like bad bitches too. Yeah, and that's your fucking problem. And that's your fucking problem. Girl. That's your problem. And yeah, you like to fuck. <laughs> and you got a fucking problem. Crazy yeah. on two jakes. You're a rich fuck. Yeah. yeah. You like yeah, a quick, quick fuck. fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's happening with some people. I feel like you just, in general, anybody that be tripping, you have to tell them or else they're going to push it. Everybody's going to push it to the limit unless you tell them. Girls, guys, anybody. They're going to push it to the limit unless you're like, hey, fool, this is going on. You tell them, mm-hmm. then they chill. Anybody. What if it's your significant other and you're Who gives paying? a fuck? You tell them. You're still going to be paying <laughs> or you're, you're going to yeah. be That's fine. It's cool. But you're it's, all talk, Johnny. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, you're going to have to have You're this. soft, bro. You fold, bro. I when used to. So, like, in my past. Let him cook. I, it's his birthday. In my past, like, I was like, you know what? I have everything. It's like, you're the man. But the fuck? You want to take care of everything? Even though you're struggling. You don't want them to feel like you are as a man. You don't want them to feel yeah. like that. But then it comes to the point where you're like, hey, you know what? Do you got me for next time? Like, hey, what's going With on With your here? girl? In the past, yeah, like no, nah, but you'll be like, "Hey, you got me for next." Time. No, but um, what I'm saying is, you gotta communicate. I feel like you come to an agreement like, in a relationship. Yeah, be like, that. like you just or or like your girl's not stupid. I mean, some you know, some girls might Somewhere, be stupid. Or some and just, it, like just, stupid. just stupid. Or they just consider it as fuck. Like, like after a while, like you got me, you got me. It's like, oh shit, don't like I I got us here, you know, like don't, don't, or like the little stuff, you know, like if you, if I got the movie tickets, bro, at least offer, you know, yeah, at least right. offer like the I'll get the snacks. Like I'll get the don't worry about it because I already bought the tickets. Like, I like you're gonna get the snacks, or at least like, or like I'll sell you half if you want, you know. Yeah. And I'll be like, that's the move, low key, because the snacks be more expensive than the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Give, me a, large pre- give me a pretzel. You know? take your Sunday mornings when the tickets are five dollars each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Tuesday, Tuesday bitch. Tuesdays, manatee or whatever. Nah, I always pay for shit, but. I, I guess it's different too if you live with her and shit. It's like, yeah, bitch, we both paying for the bills. But so. still, though, even then, though, that's how it starts when you're dating. You see if they're with, with it or they're not. Like, they're just not for you or they just don't care. If I got it, I'm paying for it. But it doesn't you. matter, though. You can have it and your girl be like, hey, can I? And you'll be like, no, it's cool. I got it. What happens, but at least you see they care. What happens if you really love this stingy homie? You really love him? Yeah. Like, you're cool with that food. Like, that's for one of your day ones. But he's just stingy. Then you can't get mad about it. Because you gotta cool let him it. know. You gotta put it in his face. Like, hey, fool, you stingy yeah. as fuck, my boy. Yeah. So they know what's up. You would say it like that? If he's your real homie, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But in a joking manner, you're like, fool, you, damn, fool, you stupid stingy, huh, dog? Yeah. I just like that and shit. All right. This final question. <laughs> it seems like a pretty fucking 
We know the answer to this question, but they always ask. So we're going to give it to them. So this person asking, is it a good thing to be friends with your ex? Low-key miss him still. That's a problem. You motherfuckers and your exes, huh? Get over it. Grow the fuck up. <coughs> How old are you, dog? You Have can't you be had friends. Your or some shit? So, probably, yeah, he probably is a young shit. Yeah, it's, it's a girl. Or it's, it's a girl. She said him. She right? Okay. So It's a shim. Uh, stop saying you're going to be friends with him and say, I miss him. You miss him, you don't want to be fucking friends with him. Yeah. You're going to be friends with them. Stop saying you miss them. Don't fucking text them every day or call them. Like, stop making it seem like you missed a friendship. You miss him. You want something to probably happen in the future. Here's the thing. Either Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know what the fucking problem is. You know the fucking answer to the problem. You know. You just want us to tell you something different. But we're not going to tell you anything fucking different. We're going to tell you like how we're supposed to fucking tell you. You're not supposed to be fucking with your ass. If you still got fucking feelings for them, you fucking retard. <laughs> hey, dreams. But that's how I feel about you. Him. Retarded ass bitch. <laughs> spin. You spin. I never even said anything like that. <laughs> be friends with them to be fucking friends. I don't even try to shut the fuck up, bro. Fuck Whatever. Your friend, your How many brother. times you gotta tell y'all? Never <laughs> be friend friends with your ex. Never do anything like that. Uh, if you start feeling, especially if you start feeling from Lalo, you've expressed before that you've been able to be friends with exes, right? Uh, just uh, cordial, no? cordial. At a distance. Nice. At a distance. Just cordial. Yeah. Cordial. Yeah. But if you start feelings for them, what sense does it make? We've told you before, like. Don't be friends with your stupid ass ex, especially if you have fucking feelings for them. Yeah. Wait, what was the question? I don't even know what the question was. It was like, it can okay you still to, be friends with your ex? Is it okay to be friends with your ex if you I have miss him? They yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Dreams, I mean, everything you yelled was just yeah. on, on, on the true. point. You just want to hear something different, but that's like the, 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 the real answer is you, you already know. You always want to hear something they different. Always, We're not sure. going to back you up. We just yeah. lost the listener, though. Fuck yeah. True, it's okay. It is what it like, is. You'll come back. Stop saying you want an opinion and then you're like, oh, but like, I want to know. I want to hear you. I want you to validate I how I feel. Yeah, bro, come on. Don't ask for advice. You want fucking advice. <laughs> Being an adult, <laughs> stupid. What happened? Why is everything I, so? I bad, had bro? a friend. Look, I had a friend. I'll be like, bro, what I do about this crazy ass girl? Shout out. She Annette. does this and this. No, no, no. And they always complain about a girl. Shout out. What I do? And I'll be like, bro, leave her. But this, but stop saying, but if you want a fucking advice, bro, and he stay with her and stay with her, bro. Yeah. Do you need advice or you want me to tell you what to do? Keep doing what you're doing. Like I'm not, and I've told him I'm not gonna sugar, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat shit. You want to hear me yeah, tell you? Yeah, he's diabetic. I don't tell you. It's true. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, stupid. Why, why? Why are humans like that though? Huh? Like you're just you're asking for advice. Cause you're ignorant. Does I think really everybody does answers? it though. I think because you have like, hope. Not even hope. To, not even to out this poor girl out, but it's like I think everybody does it. You ask for advice, like even to your homie. And it just goes goes in through one ear and comes out the other, and you do whatever the fuck you want at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This hope for like because the only way don't the only face way the reality of this the only way humans learn is by actually doing what you're not supposed to do. Facts. Yeah. So Facts. you do the fucking wrong thing, it bites you in the ass, and then you learn like, oh, I'm not gonna do that thing again. And you're like, oh, you but you what? knew all along you shouldn't have done that shit. Yeah. Facts. You know, yeah. he's spinning right now. You it's give, like his birthday or something. Benefit of the doubt. Yeah. yeah, a lot of you are scared to be by yourself too, because like all, you make this person your whole world, and then you kind of feel by yourself the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Spain. And then, and then, Spain. then they leave because they found something better. Because guess what? You're not the best person in the fucking world. Surprise, you know? Yeah. yeah. And uh, now you're kind of lifted by yourself because you dropped all your friends for like this person, and now you're stuck kind of crawling back to your friends, trying to, you know, hey. your fr and your friends are gonna get tired of it because. The same person that you're asking the advice for that you dropped, like they could tell you dumped this dude. Yeah. You dropped them already. So now you're going back to them and they're like, bro, we told you to leave them. Like then they by the way, your friends are gonna take you back. If they really fuck with you, they're gonna take you back. Yeah. That's just how it works. Unless it's repetitive. Also, I we don't even that. know. Like you could be the problem. Yeah. Low key. Okay, let him cook. Let him cook. Like you could be the problem. You could be the bitch that's toxic as fuck and trying to pull somebody back into something when they're just trying to move past shit. But you're probably the one who's there's a possibility. I'm not saying that's who you are. There's a possibility that you're the toxic one. You're the person that that person needs to move on from. 
and you just keep dragging them in all that you can because you're scared to feel lonely. Yeah, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, all right, now that was a bit, right? The whole thing was a bit, but yeah. but there's some truth sprinkled in there with as a bit. But what's the, like, what is the actual fucking point of just being friends with somebody who you start feelings? Unless you yeah. know for a fact, you're like, look, I have feelings for them now, but I have faith in myself that those feelings will fucking. Whoosh, Vanish no. in the wind. I don't even think that. But there's not because if you stay friends, yeah. you you you're still interacting with that person, and there's like this fucking sliver of hope. It's like yeah, the same man. thing where dumb. where couples go on breaks. Get off knowing, my dick, bitch. <laughs> there you go. But like couples go on breaks, knowing damn well it's over. Yeah. One person knows I will never be with this motherfucker again, but the other person is, is still thinking like hopeful. Well, yeah. Maybe if I'm close, oh, to them. Uh, we're just on a break, like who knows we might still get together it's no it's fucking if one person's checked out it's dunzos yeah. bye and even if they take you back bye. you can't expect for it to be something permanent yeah. or something serious no you know it's probably just gonna be on some fuck buddy shit or like some like i don't know like i just i don't want to see you move on but i'm ready to move on type of shit yeah. you know yeah so you're not doing yourself any favor just cut yourself off yeah. and yeah. possibly we're giving you shit but like you might be really young and so sorry you, which, you, which, which, sorry if you're really young sorry we're just being your older cousins right now that's all we're doing that's what you, that's what you're gonna hear if you tell you i talk to your older cousin if you say i miss him you are not gonna be friends with them yeah don't don't hurt yourself you're try to suck his dick. don't hurt yourself by trying to read yourself back in to their life yeah. you miss him and it's like i get it i've been there like you want to just be like a little part of life because you miss him so much yeah. like you even you get that little like time of day from them you're like i love this maybe there's hope because right? yeah, i said yeah. don't be friends with them if you're trying hurt, to do that bozo you're gonna hurt yourself too like, <laughs> you are <laughs> what, if, what, <laughs> what if they what if, what if they get like a oh, fucking, bozo what if they get like another person and then now you gotta look that shit okay. as a homie you're not gonna that's not a real homie you're gonna be like mm. fuck them i'm gonna say this you miss him whatever okay fuck it you go be friends with them what's gonna happen the day they find somebody you're gonna get cut the fuck out their life and then you're gonna get heartbroken again Stop doing that shit to yourself. Move the fuck. What happened on. to you, huh? Yeah. So, no right. so in conclusion, it Move on. for me, it's just stay away. Cordial's fine if you don't want to. If you don't want to do a whole novella thing where it's yeah, like yeah. you fuck out, break off with them, and tell them fuck you, or do some dramatic and shit like that. Mm. But not friends. Friends is like, eh, it's okay. Some people like the though. drama though. I know. Some that's people, a some, problem sometimes. Yeah. Some people just leave that little that little uh the fishing the fishing rod the in there just, just in case you bite mm. you know with the, know. with the title of friend on it you know but it's just like just keep it cordial like if i see you spam that's it but other than that like, that was a fire metaphor i really be out here bro yeah. spitting <laughs> well essentially since we're on the topic on fucking drama we actually reached out to the fans on so, the voicemail and also about best of bruma obviously. we did not do that <laughs> we also it was on the voicemail we asked the fans to leave in their fucking uh dumbest fights they've gone into with their significant other, their family members, or even their friends. Yep. We also introduced a new element on Instagram. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Ponte Las Piazza Podcast with two T's at the end. You guys will find us. Mm-hmm. Use G uh, We interact with all the fans. Dreams always, always interacting on their Lalo as well. And then I'll be dropping the prompts on there for you guys to come call us. Yep. And like I said, we introduced the new feature where you guys could literally write in. So if you guys are too shy to call, you guys don't want to hear your voice on the podcast, you guys could type it. And honestly, I think that's going to introduce a new element for us where we could just read your shit and it'll be cool. Pop you know? and read. Shut up, Musky. Facts. Yeah. Shut up, man. I think, we, I think we can do an ad for that. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So our prompt. Yeah, shut up, Musky. We do know. So our prompt this week was, um, when was the last time you this did prompt, anal? This prompt is brought to you by Musky. This prompt is brought to you by And G Fuel. So you just code PLP for 20% off. Yep. Yeah, before we get into no them, have you, do you guys remember like a stupid ass argument you guys had with anyone? Go ahead, Johnny. Fuck, I remember I was in high school and I remember this girl just kind of like chipping on me and I'd be like, hey, like, you know, I remember her seeing the fucking text. No questions asked, bro. Yeah. Just started fucking bombing on me. Just dropping, who's this? Bitch? swinging on you? No, like, just like, hey, who's this? Just like, like, like riding on me. Just fucking, hey, who is this? Why is this bitch texting you? And I just let her fucking rock. Uh, I stay with the fuck quiet. Two minutes after her fucking bitching at me. It's my prima. Like, oh, yeah, I remember you told us. And, that. like, I, I didn't kiss his prima. So, why the fuck you bugging? <laughs> <laughs> like, what I, I was just like, hey. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit. And I was like, hey, just so you know, this prima's like nine years old, okay? And it was like, bro, like, 
It's shit like that. It was just I don't stupid know that. as fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Take like, it back. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know this is a nine year old or like ten year old fucking cousin that was like, "Hey, cómo estás?" And she was like, "Why is this bitch?" But she just thought it was why random. Is this bitch like, why is this bitch hitting you up? And she just saw the name. She's like, "Bring." She's like, "What the fuck is this bitch hitting you?" Up? And I just let her rock. I was like, "Hey, you know?" I was like, "Okay, tell me what else." So like, she what, like, your what, game? like, what the fuck else do you think about Evelyn? And she just ran with it. <laughs> And she kept, this is true story. And Evelyn Murillo. <laughs> Torres, but yeah. But yeah, she just kept going, what right? fuck is up, Johnny? Whatever. Let it rock. Whatever. But she kept going, and I was like, okay, it's my prima, that's 10. I didn't know that. Why didn't you tell me that? Because you made me fucking talk. <laughs> she was like, who's this snake ass bitch? Okay, she's in elementary, but okay. <laughs> like, she, she's bro. In, she's in primaria, but okay. <laughs> you were care. dating a bitch bro, in elementary school? This is like, like. That's all I got from Such me. a cool ass cousin. So you were so, a teenager, and you were dating and, a girl that was in elementary school? Yeah, that's pretty stupid. You're right. Awful. What about you, Drews? You had a stupid argument? It was dumb. Well, there's stupid arguments every fucking day for me. Like, oh, this bitch is fucking <laughs> just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Past dreams. He just dreams. He just let dreams. Doghouse. Doghouse. My, doghouse, my life is just fucking Nah, miserable. get into the doghouse. My life be like, ooh, ah. Uh, 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 what was the last time you had in the doghouse, uh, Drews? In the doghouse? Yeah. I was in the doghouse. I'm always in the doghouse, bro. <laughs> I always live there. That's my residency. If you guys want to send anything to my P.O. box, make sure you guys go send it to my fucking doghouse because that's where I fucking live all the Maybe time. Maybe you say some fucking arguments you got in with not your lady. How about that? Oh, okay. Um, so there's one time. Those are fun. Yeah, they're, they're not. There's one time this bitch wanted to break up with me because I started a podcast. <laughs> Believe it or not. Stupid ass bitch. That's wild, huh? She wanted it because low-key, this is what she thought. <laughs> She thought at the time because this, um, Candace was on, the home right? Girl. The homegirl mm, was got on. Got the homegirl. And she got jealous because Candace was on. And she was like, you're recording like at somebody else's house? Like, <laughs> are you, my house? Like, yeah. Like, oh, are you guys like, what are you guys are fucking her? <laughs> are you guys her? running an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, stupid basically, shit. that's what she was insinuating. Like, either you're fucking her or like you guys are both tag teaming her or whatever, you know? What the fuck? And I was like, bro, the home like, girl, man. you're fucking stupid. Like, there's no way that like, that's the, the... And after that, I was done. I was like, I can't do I'm this I'm a fat was tripping. And, and hence... The solo episodes were born. Yeah. Those were beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, no, those, were, those were in solo episodes because you did it with Candace for a little while. Yeah. And then you did one episode by yourself. Yeah. You made me do but, it. And you did a few. You know, so just, you I don't know exactly have perfect attendance, but I have the best attendance of anybody here. And I think that. Um, Actually, after I don't me, think so. After no, me. I don't. Yeah, after, after Lalo because he lives here. But <laughs> I don't know. But it was like, it was stupid. It was like, I'm doing a podcast, like, you know, and, and at the time that person didn't approve. And so then we broke up. So yeah, that's pretty stupid. I literally left someone for the pod. Real one. What have y'all done for this shit? Touch with. I left someone for I the pod. I cut off my mom. <laughs> to be honest though, you should have been cut her off. Yeah. Dude, but it, it was, I mean, she was just jealous of the fact that, you know, like I was doing something and it, mm. I was doing something with my life and she wasn't. <laughs> hey, hey and, you damn. know, and, and that shit just, I think that just kind of bothered her a little bit so she tried to find an excuse for me not to do it but it was like stupid. a stupid it was a stupid reason to start an argument yeah. right but it ended up leading to the demise of the relationship so mm. you know that's how it happens sometimes yeah, well, now know? she doesn't have a boyfriend one cool. time you got one yeah lady, one now she got a kid with no baby daddy but that was your lady right now that's crazy is that true yeah okay so one time i'm gonna say who it was just cooking but uh throwing the stuff in we we're gonna go to a concert right mm -hmm. and uh i came out wearing like cargo shorts <laughs> that's, that's your, your cousin. Fault. That's, that's your own fault. That's blood. I was wearing cargo shorts, shorts, but like a nice shirt, right? But it wasn't <laughs> enough, right? I guess it didn't meet the fucking attire, like the attire requirements. Just like Lalo, you in the shuffle battle get cold? Or what? You fucking pussy, the fucking tracksuit. Oh, oh, got it. I thought you meant I didn't meet it. Uh, I'm fresh all so, the time. So I fucking come out right, and then homegirl goes, "You're gonna wear that to the concert," and that made me fucking. I was, <laughs> and you gotta pay for your ticket. <laughs> I was infuriated. I was like, "What the fuck you mean? Like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear." And it, she gave me a face of like, "Go change. Like, mm. you look like shit." <laughs> you know? Oof, who the fucking? I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "I'm gonna hit you." So I, forgot, hit I said, "I said some fucked up shit." Homegirls like walking down the street like with her heels in her hand. <laughs> Like, oh, like fuck you! We ain't going. It's like, yeah. bro, why, why are we doing all this shit? It was fucking yeah. stupid. It was stupid as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, did you make her walk or not? You picked her up? Nah, we went. Stupid, <laughs> stupid. Make her walk. That was dumb. I, I want to say something. I've never, okay, I've never had like a crazy argument. I don't yeah. think like that. Like a petty one. <clears throat> like a petty one, right? Yeah. 
in my any of my other last relationships, right? Except for that time you shot that one girl. Yeah, but that was an argument. That was just a sta- <laughs> that was a statement. For luck. For luck. <laughs> it's been the they block. Shot. It's been the block for me. Uh uh Yeah, I never had like an argument like that because I've always sit here like I'm not fucking I don't want to argue, but like I'm very like Also you're a calm guy. You're like an even keel guy. Yeah, I know. Like I I thank you. I like to carry myself like that. Like I'm very like, eh, nah, fuck all that. Like it ain't worth it. it ain't worth the time. It ain't worth the time, right? But now with my current girlfriend, like you get jealous. Nah, no that shit. But we get into little arguments, and I find myself getting into the arguments. Hey, let's <laughs> go. And, and, and then I'm like, I think I like these. He's a I, I, I find myself. I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. Yeah, like, try like, You know, like I'm always, I'm always kind of wrong. I'm always <laughs> paying for shit. No, no. <laughs> Hell no, nah, I can never goes, I'm tired. Why, why don't you carry your own weight? <laughs> and Lalo goes, I'm tired of this calm yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got benefits, bitch. <laughs> yeah, the, I don't need but, this. But now, but I think that, but that I think that speaks more of like how much I'm trying to like. I guess you're growing. I, I guess that right. As I was trying to speak up for myself, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I find myself like, get, and not like we have arguments every fucking day, but like when she wants to start one, and I'm like. Nah, bitch, you're fucking in your feelings. Got it, got it. You go, you know what? I'm like, nah, bitch, no. I'm not wrong. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm wrong in a lot of ways, bro. Like, I, I, I'm not afraid to say when I'm, I know I fucked up and I'm wrong because I, I, she does call me out on my yeah, shit, which yeah, is yeah. great to have in a partner, by the way. Like, but sometimes when she try to say some shit, I'm like, nah. The math ain't mathing, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, nah, like, that's wrong. Like, and I'm going to say something that that's wrong. And, like, you know, she gets put in her little place sometimes. That's right. You know, it's true. Well, true. I really be out here. Well, I can't help but notice that because I'll move the lights even though I fucking set them up in a perfect way. It's all right. <laughs> no, they weren't perfect. They were good. spread out the fuck out that way. Yeah. Beto, you got one? Yeah, I got a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wrote a list. Uh, actually. Uh, goes, <sighs> nah, I re- but I remember this one time we went to this thing. There's this thing in uh, Orange County called... Um, the Orange Se- County Fair? No, 17 Doors. Where it's um, like a little haunted oh, house. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was jokes. <laughs> nah, but we were fighting. And I just, I don't even remember why we were fighting. But you know when you fight with your girl and it's just like something so stupid that it makes you even more mad? Yeah. yeah. You're just like, this you, is so I fucking don't care stupid. Why are, we, why are we fighting about this shit? Yeah, bro? yeah, yeah. So I remember we were waiting in line for 17 doors and I was just fucking mad. I was just like this. <laughs> and then um, they fuck with you. That There's like people, like when you're in line, they're like tasing you and like fucking with you you know yeah do you, wait do you remember what the little argument no, was no i just remember it was stupid it was just some dumb shit yeah, it was some dumb right. shit where yeah. i'm like why are we yeah. why are, we're here and we're fighting about this shit like this is so stupid yeah right? never it, it, especially it sucks too when you're spending money you're like bro i spent all this fucking money like to feel like shit yeah, just for you to be mad at me right now this yeah. is bullshit yeah, yeah. good and um so i'm just right there i'm with my arms crossed and i'm like this right and the fucking clown comes up to me. He's like, oh, you're mad. Why are you mad? That <laughs> <laughs> shit was so fucking annoying. Bro. I was like, <laughs> now you're mad at the clown? I was like, punk on her, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, I was, I was literally like this. He's like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you mad? And I was like, fuck this guy, man. <laughs> hey, I got, hey, get the fuck out of my face, dog. Get the fuck out of my face, dog. You're just a fucking <laughs> clown. Suit. Okay, geez, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a blast on this one. <laughs> Nah, yeah, but so, birthday. so the, the clown's all up on my face and just fucking making fun of me for being mad. I'm like, bro, she's right there too. You can make fun of her too, you know? But, yeah. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take nah, it. Nah, you wanted you. Man. Yeah, Wait, and didn't you say you, the fucking, uh, was it the same story though where they almost drowned you motherfuckers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so we go through the haunted house and we're all fucking pissed at each other, right? And there's like, so it's, the concept is that there's 17 doors and you have to get through all 17 doors. What the fuck? And the last door... And you have to sign a waiver like the submarine people. <laughs> okay. Damn, you could have not been here today. <laughs> nah, that, no, straight up. That's, That's not a pocket, man. So we get through the last door. And they, they give you an option. Oh, It's a yearly thing. It's every... We should go to it this Halloween. That's nah, okay. But um, the, the 17th door, it changes every year, right? It's for so every 40 years. This is my second year going. And I was like thinking it's going to be the same shit as last year when I went with my homies. Yeah. And the year before, it's just uh, the floor shocked you. You had to crawl, and the whole time is shocking you. So you're like, crawl fast. Nah. So I told my girl, I'm warning her, I'm like, oh, the, the floor's gonna shock us or whatever. So we go through the through the thing and we crawl, and all of a sudden it's like they're like, oh, um, the combination for the lock is like 15, 17 or something like that. And we're picking it and we're pulling on it, and all of a sudden water starts rising. Nah. Nah. <laughs> and out. And so. F- I'm like, there's no way this shit's like, it keeps rising. I'm like, there's no way this shit's going to fill up all the way to the top, you know? And I'm like pulling on the lock and all of a sudden it fucking raises over my mouth. And, oh, and we're separated too. So it's like, it's like if you're in a locker room. Yeah. So each person is in their own locker room. 
So me and my girl are next to each other, but we can't see each other or nothing. And it's a group of people too. <laughs> and um, that shit starts raising. I'm like, there's no way that shit's going to like raise over my head, right? And then that shit starts raising over my mouth. I'm fucking yanking. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. No, and, and they gave us a, a word that if we can't take it anymore, we, we yell mercy, right? Yeah. But you're supposed to say that shit before and I didn't know. So that shit starts raising and I start panicking. I'm like, mercy, mercy, mercy. And they don't fucking do shit about it. So the water just raises over your fucking thing, over, over your head. Fuck the that. bitch. And I'm like, what the X factor is this? I, I hold my breath, right? And I'm like fucking yanking on the fucking lock. And finally the water goes down. And I, I, it got literally to the point where like I was, I almost gave up. I'm like, fuck, I'm about to die. Like yeah. I can't hold my breath any longer. Finally goes down. I'm like, <gasps> and I scream out to my girl, are you okay? And she screams out. Dead? She screams out, yeah, boom, the water goes back up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it, we didn't know that that shit, like, we thought it was over. So now that the water's back up, like, we didn't even get a chance to hold our breath or nothing, bro. And Yo, so, so you in there and, like, clothes are, like, drenched? Cl yeah. Your shoes are fucked? Yeah. Everything? Yeah, literally everything. So finally, like, the water finally goes down again, and it's like... <gasps> Everybody, it's like five a uh, group of five people. It's me and my girl and like three other people. And you just hear everybody. <gasps> and we're like, what the fuck? And it's like, finally, me and my girl weren't pissed at each other. <laughs> we're like hugging each other, glad we're alive and shit. And there's like a little 99 cent store in a Walgreens right there. And we go to the Walgreens and we buy extra clothes. Because, <laughs> yeah, we were fucking drenched. I have the picture, too. It's like, they took a picture of you afterwards. Like yeah. You pose. And we flipped off the camera because we were fucking mad. Yeah, just and like you can, this. You can just see our sweaters and our jeans fucking wet. Yo, I wonder if something went wrong. You know, where it's like, hey, yo, the water's not going down, bro. I'm pushing the button, you know? Yeah. And like, I'm sure you sign a waiver. Like, if you die, yeah. you die. No, yeah, we <laughs> signed a waiver. They did. They did. But that's what I'm saying. Like, because, like, I don't think it's supposed to get to that point where, like, you literally are gasping for air. So then we were cool after, right? We're all cool. And then, um, so we go get a bite to eat. And I said, like, I made a joke. That's yeah. where it was. Uh, I made a joke, like, oh, about how I was drowning. And she got so mad. <laughs> she's, she's like, She's like, why are you joking about that? We almost died. And I was like, oh my God, dude, it's a fucking joke. And then we, there we go again arguing. I was like, dude, it's like, you know, like I made a joke about our trauma. And yeah. she did not find that shit funny. Cause you're not in the trauma. fucking military. And I was you're like, at the fucking your and, rancho. And so there I am. We went to Portillo's because it was close. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Fire. Yeah, bomb no, ass bomb shakes. shakes and bomb ass hot dogs. And I'm over there eating. She, she did her little leg thing where she's she looks like that to the window. Yeah. She's like that. And I'm over here eating my hot dog. I'm like, fucking shit, bro. Like, <laughs> why so, did I make I, that joke? I was like, I was like even more mad. Like, we finally got over it and now we're here mad. We're mad at each other again. So that shit pissed me off. Even I would have sucked her out. So that was that was my dumb argument That's that I had with my girl. We all have them though, bro. Yeah, we all have them, and also you, motherfuckers. If I get a better one in the future, I'll, I'll say it. That was good, by the way. That was <laughs> that's funny as fuck. It's funny, but we all have them. Like our our ladies, or even or us. Rational. Women are just irrational. actually. You know what? Let's I'll burn, my, I'll burn myself out. It's Latinas food. I'll burn myself out because we're calling out the girls. But oh, I remember one time I was at a club with my lady, mm. and uh, sorry, beastless. So I remember one time I was at the club with my lady, and uh, some motherfucker came up. That motherfucker said what's up to everyone but me, right? Mm -hmm. And immediately in my brain, like, because uh, my lady knew him, or I don't know, I don't know how the fuck they knew each other, but I guess, yeah, I think he did say what's up to me. I don't remember, but in my head, I don't think he did. So fuck that fool, you know? <laughs> Max. But like, that fool gave like my girl and her homegirl a fucking big ass hu hug, and I got jealous immediately. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Bitch ass motherfucker. They like uh, grabbed their ass and just nah, 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 I would have cracked them on Who's the Who's this disrespectful bro? ass fucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think deep. he did say what's up to me. Like, I think they, but it took forever. It was like, oh, they were talking for a while. And then my lady was finally like, oh, and this is my boyfriend. And, it, and I, in my head, I was already hot. Like, I was like the outside, like, I was like the third man. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I felt fucking stupid as fuck just fucking standing there letting You're some just food. just an alpha. Letting some food just fucking like. Hug up all up on my bitch. Putting his dick I almost over. put a Hell fucking no. bullet on yeah. his fucking head, bro. No he, cap. He was, like, he was like, oh, shit, what's up, Easy Pickens? And like, <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, I would have decked him, no cap. Hey, what's up, you going to dome him up now? What? You know what? I don't remember exactly how it went down. I think he, that motherfucker did say what's up to me and was like, all right. But in my head, I was already seeing red, right? You I was bitch. already being immature as shit. So I was like, what's up, bitch? <laughs> nah, I didn't say that. <laughs> but sure? I was just like, give him kind of like the what's up. You know, whatever. And I let my fucking girl have it after that shit. And we just fucking argue like, who the fuck is that fool? Like, you know what I'm saying? I just fuck you hugging him up like that. A little jealous little fucking, I was like, I don't know, maybe 18 or some shit or 19. I was like, but I, I remember after when we were talking and she like really laid it down to me. I was like, 
yeah, low key, I was being a little fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was being a little jealous. Yeah, jealous that's me. Bitch. That's me. That's me. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't tell her that though. Don't admit. Yeah. I told her. I told her then and there. I was like, nah, you right. That's where he lost. That's where he lost. But <laughs> but hey, my girl knows now. Motherfucker, hey, any motherfucker rolls up, you better fucking introduce him to me immediately. Yeah. Or that's some, or how you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Damn, like, you good? <laughs> you're so bad. I was gonna say some fucked up shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> twice. Go ahead. Go ahead. You fucked yourself twice. You, right, can, you couldn't find a good word. <laughs> nah, I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm racist as fuck, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, the same can way we be fucking, uh, the same way we be fucking overreacting, or our ladies be overreacting, you motherfuckers be overreacting. So we asked you guys to drop in a call or a fucking pro, uh, a written message, and this is what you guys came up with. Fuck Ponte Los Pilas, I'm not gonna shut you guys out because fuck you guys. <laughs> okay. The first thing you did. Okay. But, um, <laughs> so let's see. So, my story, there was this fucking time. You know, hop outside because it gets fucking serious. Over this time, I was talking, I was talking with my, with my ex. Mm. I, was, I was with this bitch for like five years. Alright, we were serious. We were, we were about to have a baby and everything. Mm. But next thing you know. Abort that phone. Like, this bitch says, oh, okay, I'm going to go out, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can't come out with me, though. If I see you there, I'm not going to talk to you. And I look at her, I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm a fucking man. I was like, I was like, I really can't go out with you? You're really going to be acting like that? And she's like, yeah, if, I, if you pull up, if I see you there, I'm going to go out with somebody else. I'm like, and you know me, I was like, I was me younger. I was like, bitch, bet. So then I ended up pulling up. I pulled up my boys. <laughs> And the next thing you know, fucking, um, next thing you know, fucking, I end up, I end up, I end up dipping from there. She hits me up. She's like, I can't believe you really showed up. Take it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, what the fuck? And then I ended up finding out from, from one of her girlfriends that she ended up going out to, um, once she left the party, she went out to fucking, um, to this apartment with a whole bunch of dudes. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And then that same night, I cheated on that bitch. I said, fuck you. I <laughs> fucked like two bitches that same night. That's true. Right. <laughs> I said, fuck you. Ho. And then the next day, I went to her and I gave her love. And I looked in her eye and I told her, hey, baby, I'm sorry, but I had to be done. And she she looks at me and she's like, what do you mean? What had to be done? What the fuck? And I'm like, I fucked two bitches last night because you cheated on me. God damn. And then she's like, what the fuck? Fuck you. She started slapping me and shit. <laughs> fucking me and my fucking mouth bleeding and everything. I was like, oh shit, I kicked that bitch. <laughs> fucking RKO <laughs> that bitch up the fucking whip. And I said, I'm fuck? gone. And then I fucking took. I left her as a giveaway. And I came all the way back to my house. And it was pretty much it though. But well, anyway, stay safe, King. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> Uh, he just admitted but anyway. To, he just admitted to abuse, lad. No, but I said, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> he just admitted to us no, all. Said, in, anyways, this, in this point of view, all right, nine one one. But anyways, uh, Whataburger is better than <laughs> <laughs> yo. Okay, so you're an abuser. Good bad. thing it's anonymous. Crazy. Damn. Yeah, but that's the thing. So, like, why is a bitch gonna like just? Look, what you did is obviously well, he, wrong. He hit her. What do you mean? But like, why are you gonna say that you're gonna go on? Like, I'm gonna fuck another dude if you're like you're well, not. Like, yeah, she deserved it, honestly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> the fuck? <laughs> like, how you know? That's crazy. Like, I'm not saying she deserved it, but like, you know, you kind of set yourself up for failure either. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. I just thought this that call was wild. That shit was wild. It was I'll, wild. I'll just say that. Happy birthday. That was, that was you should be in jail. Definitely, definitely don't hit your bitch though. I, uh, uh, you tuning in for, I just watched her uh, live. Anyways, so me and my brother went out. We were watching a movie. Like we went to go last night to watch a movie at home. And so we bought a pack of four sodas. It was me and my brother and his girlfriend. I was third wheel. It don't matter because it was at home. And so anyways, each of us took out the soda and there was four more left. Next like day comes, I'm like, well, I'm thirsty. And so I took the soda, I drank it, right? My brother walks out, he sees an empty bottle. He he looks at it, walks into his room, walks out. <laughs> and uh, I'm over here playing video games, right, being the fat boy I am. And then this fool comes out and he's like, really, dude? Really, you drink my soda? Hmm? You drink my soda? You and, what? and so he's like, we're arguing about a two dollar soda, soda soda. And so we are going back and forth back and forth. And it's like, nah, I'm like, you think you're tough? Grabbed me, grabbed me and threw it on the couch. I'm like, bro, for a soda? 
And he's like, yeah, a soda. And so we just started, like, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, to this day, we think back on it. And he's like, every single time we, we, we talk about that, he's always like, don't make me two piece you up. Just like that one time I did for you drinking my soda. <laughs> so, yeah. It reminds me of when one time, I'm not going to say his name, but I went over to a homie's house for the first time. And um, you got he molested? Nah, I wish. Nah, just kidding. But uh, he invited me to his house. He's like, oh, yeah, come through. So I go over, right? Yeah. And um, I text him. I'm like, oh, I'm here. So he opens the door and he closes the door. And he's like, oh, shit, yeah, come in. So he tries to open the door, but his brother locked him out. Oh. So, he, so he's like, oh, my, brother, my brother's being a dick. Let's go around. So we go around to the backside and he, lo he locked it too. Nah. And then he's like, oh, he's just being stupid, whatever. Yeah. This who gets a ladder, climbs to the second floor <laughs> and opens the window and climbs in. And um, and now all of a sudden I just hear my mom said to not invite. Oh, I should have cut out the name. Fuck. I always do that shit. Okay, so what? No, so he was like, so he's like, um, my mom mom said to not fucking invite, be inviting anybody over. He's like, it's just my friend. Who cares? Whatever. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. And I was like, oh, bro, don't worry about it, bro. I'll just leave. I'll just leave. He's like, nah, bro, I invited you over. Come in. And his, and his brother was like, nah, don't don't come in. Don't come in. My mom said no one could come over. And it's, it's his older brother. And then he's like, bro, come in, bro. I invited you. Just come in. <laughs> and his brother's like, bro, you better not come in. So I was like, I was like awkward nah. as fuck. Yeah, I, was like, bro. I was like, bro, I'll just, I'll just leave, bro. Yeah. I'll just leave. I'll call my mom to pick you up. Don't worry about it. He's yeah. like, nah, bro, please, bro, please come in. <laughs> yeah, nah. I was like, nah. So I walk away, right? And then um, they keep arguing. I was just, I just walk away. And I was about to call my mom. And all of a sudden, my homie comes running. He, and his shirt's like ripped, bro. And then he's like, <laughs> and then he's like, bro, come on, let's go back to my house. And I was like, nah, bro. And he had like a, his his face was red. I was like, what happened? He's like, ah, oh, yeah, me and my brother started wrestling, and he and uh, he was on top of me. He's way bigger than me, so I just I, I grabbed the controller and I hit him in the head. Nah, and damn, then, what the fuck? And he fucked like, up his submarine. And then he's like, yeah, you know what? Let's just chill here. My mom's almost home. <laughs> What and that's so how I was like, I was like, whatever, you know. And then that's bad awkward. You ever, you ever been at someone else's house and they had an awkward yes, ass yes. fucking argument? Johnny's been there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, <laughs> fucking yeah. So then you know, he calls his mom, and his mom's like, oh yeah, he can come over. And so we we go back to his house, and his mom's like, oh, I'm sorry, you know what? I did tell I did tell them to not let anybody over, but you know it's okay, like whatever. And she just took us to get in and out, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's mad yeah, weird yeah, though. You gotta be there. That's awkward. I feel over yeah. trying to smack Polly. I've been there for some awkward ass fucking conversations and shit. Like I'm not gonna talk about it, but I've been there for. We all go for Gaza. Well, my yeah. parents make stupid. My mom used to make shit awkward <laughs> as fuck, dog. Yeah. She made it a point like I don't give a. Yes, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking thing that I'm like, Michelle. Bro, I, I feel like I do. <laughs> I just, just want to be here, fool. What do you want me to do? We, we, we were chilling, having a great time, yeah, fool, yeah, in yeah. the back when they, you, yeah, you, you ended up building that second part where we were playing FIFA all the way in the yeah, back of the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were having a great time, and Lisa would come in, turn on the lights, we were playing FIFA, like, Lalo, you don't have a house or what? <laughs> We're having fun. Wait, way yeah. to make my friends feel comfortable. She, here. Would, yeah. she would do that shit to me, and I'm her nephew. <laughs> bro, I was out. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom to pay me up right now. I wasn't planning to, but now <laughs> I am. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to get out of her house so fast, bro. Dude, my mom was a foot. She used to fucking smack me in front of the homies. She used to yell at me in front of the homies. Just fuck. And she, she you know, you know what didn't help though is that we would be there and this would be like, no, 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 it was cool, it's cool. Nah, nah, I would start <laughs> no, fighting. It didn't help that he would start fighting back yeah, there, yeah, yeah. bros. Yeah, like, but he'd be like, fuck up, bitch. <laughs> and I didn't say that. And he'd nah, be nah. like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, no, I was like not. your homie. Yeah. I was like your homie. I'm yeah. nah, it's cool. I run this bitch. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. So a lot of you gets home. Then yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> nah, bro, because that shit would happen. Like Lida would come say it, say it twice, and then like I, after the first time, I was already calling my mom. Like, all right, pick me up. Like, get me out of here now. Yeah. But my mom loves taking her sweet time to pick me up, and so she come out again and tell me like like I already told you, and I'm like I I already called. Like you want me to wait outside? I can wait outside. You know, and then I knew it was bad when Lado had to come and tell me, like, wait, yeah, Saturday, you know, like, and I'm like, All right. bro, it was 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Shut I mean, like, the right. fuck 
<laughs> oh, nah, I saw, I, 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 during but summer. Then I, but then I picked up to like just get out, like go out the back and go, wait outside in the front. In front yeah. of the front. You're, you're I'm like, like, I'm not waiting inside, bro. I'm not getting yelled at. So you know what I'm gonna do? Like my parents have been bitching about they want grandkids and shit. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a fucking kid, mm -hmm. and they're not gonna see their fucking grandparents for two years minimum. <laughs> or you know what? I'll let them see them, but then I'll be like. Hey, you yeah. know what? Y'all started it. I'll take yeah. that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, that's a bitch, dog. For real. I want to shout out my friends, my family, and everybody here that's been shouting me out. Right. I want to shout out the Lit Outlet podcast. I'm going to be performing at their live show on July 22nd. Make sure you guys go and purchase some fucking tickets. Um, I want to thank everybody that's been shouting us out up to this point. And, you know, we're going to keep moving, honestly. You know, I think... I feel like there's a lot of people out here waiting for merch and all that bullshit, mm -hmm. but y'all never gonna get it. So Back just do that, you know? that. Johnny, birthday boy, what you gotta say, brother? I'll, I'll say, happy birthday, I, Johnny. I, I'll say I'll give a shout out to everybody that be supporting us all the fucking time i shout out to gazelle for his birthday my fucking birthday they throw on the ones and twos in the fucking back the supporting us all the homies here that are here with us on that fucking pod and just thank you for everybody that that be just hitting us up about the pod and a birthday to my homegirl jenny and that's about it yeah and thank you to all the illiterate people that just yeah. want to send in you know, for sure i want to give a Huge shout out to my girl. It's her birthday. Hey. hey. It was her birthday yesterday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy late birthday. Oh, birthday. Hey. Everybody's on Tuesday? He's breaking yeah, up with you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Dreams. Thank you for giving me stories for the podcast. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Hey, she keeps mad at you for selling the story. Uh, you you keep, can never be happy. Huh? <laughs> keep arguing with me, Queen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Queen. Happy birthday. Shout out my YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Oh, yeah. Relax. And then Guess I'll don't pop it up, right? And then shout out all my <laughs> friends and shout out everybody who watches and who subscribes to me as well. Facts. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Well, uh, hey, shout out to you motherfuckers. Shout out to everybody who fucking wished Johnny and I happy birthday. It was a lot of you motherfuckers. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you guys. It means a lot. Uh, what are you? So shout out to my lady as always. What else? What else? She got you that fly ass shirt. Oh, she got me this fly ass shirt. This shit is, this is stay freaky. And you know me, I stay mm. freaky, baby. Freaky. You know, Pillow Princess Gazelle. Yeah, That's a dope ass shirt. Guys. I like it. But uh, yeah, no, keep continuing to support. If you guys haven't subscribed to us and you guys are just listening, go fucking subscribe. What the fuck are you doing? Right, uh, you we're doing? consistently dropping stuff on Maple Alley. Uh, go check that out if you guys would like. Um, we just Five do, stars, please. We just do a bunch of challenges, a bunch of funny shit every now every and again. Every Thursday. See, every now and again. No, actually, no, it's not every Thursday. It's just every, oh, week. every week. Every week. Yeah, every now and again, you'll see cameos from the homies as well. Um, hopefully, we get Beto on one of these fucking videos in the, in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to um, the people who fucking goes crazy for us on our Instagram. Do you have a follower? Uh, or no, not really. Okay. No. Okay. It's always the same people. No. Okay, cool. So we caught up. All right, yeah. yeah, and shout out to the people who joined the live earlier. If you guys, by the way, go please interact with the prompts on the voicemails so that yep. way we have more and shit. And yeah, and I think we should. Get, I think we should keep this prompt for a while. I think there's a lot it's, of people who have stupid fucking arguments. We'll leave it for one more week. If you guys yeah. have more, hopefully, for literate, literate people. Crazy. If you guys have more uh, stories that maybe you didn't see the prompt on our Instagram, go ahead and drop it. We have a written prompt, and then we also have the voicemail, so you guys can go ahead and drop it. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. that's it. And shout out to everybody here, <clears throat> the whole team. They're all fucking appreciate it. Shout out to everybody who watches us and listens to us in the mornings and, uh, you know, uh, anybody who shouted out the homies on their birthdays. You know, uh, we love them and we're glad that you do too. Uh, I saw all the love that Gazelle was getting for the most part. Uh, and then uh, you, on YouTube, I saw all the love that Johnny was getting too. You guys are really beloved people on this podcast, so that's amazing, you know. Uh, shout out to uh, all of our boys, everybody at Maple Alley, you know, Wolf Logic, everybody. Everyone that supports us close, everyone that we support, and uh, yeah, shout out to my family, shout out to my girl. With that, we out. Peace. Peace. See ya. Peace.